sickness is getting in the way of our. Uh, why, why you? Why you? Why you? What's, your, what's, what's wrong? His sickness. With you, bro? Oh my what's god. Wrong? Why are you doing this, bro? Do you see? What the fuck is wrong with you? Do you see who's here? There's no way, bro. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the Intellectuals special episode today. Intellectual. It's not a special episode, it's just another. It, it's episode. a very special episode. Go fuck yourself because we finally got our boy Adam back in studio. What? I Adam's believe here? they're making reference to the person who's presently speaking. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Do you see this? It's still Christmas for him. That's why he's wearing red. Can we address how uh, you're dressed like a whore today? He's and I love it, by the way. It's it's. He's not a whore. He's a. <laughs> no, he's dressed like a whore. <laughs> no, he's very skanky. He's yeah. wearing a belly shirt. Yeah, I'll you tell can you see what. But it would be so much sexier if you weren't wearing the undershirt under this sweater. No, that's and sexy. Just Leave him alone. Yeah, this with the chicks want it, oh, adds, okay. it adds more mystery mm. you really pa between him and poseidon they're both dressed like gigolos <laughs> two different styles of gigolos you all three of you are dressed like man horse so <laughs> yeah it's three true. different <laughs> versions of man he's horse. really rocking the larry david this time though yeah. bro your, your hair grew out long yeah i'm very proud of you with the larry david mm -hmm. you a man whore podcast oh man speaking of man whore mm -hmm. um yeah. i um I just wanted to do the segue and I didn't have anything oh, <laughs> after that I had. Oh, so an asshole that that Poseidon, can you uh, yes. discuss with Adam how is he, how was prison? So, oh, that's, that yeah, okay, I remember now what uh, I wanted to say. Can you Go stop ahead. cutting me off? You please, have a lot Beto. to talk about, Adam. You have I your do. house yeah. arrest to talk about. Yes. And then we thought after your house arrest, everything was done. So you for had the a record, let me clear up all the things that are needed. Allegations? To be up. <laughs> thoughts. Let's just call them thoughts. So my house arrest was split into two. The conditions are exactly the same. The only area where it differs is that prior to November 13th, I had to be at home all the time except for Saturdays, four hours. After November 13th, I got to be home at 10 p.m. That's simple. That Until when? They don't get... Until... Um, Something happened recently. Okay, I, it's I'd, oh, I prefer no. to keep happened recently. Oh no, you committed another was, crime. No, no, How no. How often do they call? I, was, I had to go to court. You beat up one of these kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, don't distract them. I had to go to court. Everything got settled. I'm sure you guys know enough about the law that when you break the law, I didn't break. I broke. We don't my, know anything I, I about allegedly the law. broke you my broke curfew. The law and the I don't know if curfew is the right word to use. Um, I I didn't respect my my um, house Self. arrest conditions. Why? I didn't fully respect them. <clears throat> there were a few isolated incidents. I'd rather not so, get into that. Uh, oh. We'd rather you would. And speaking to the mic. Yeah, we would rather if you talk to us about it. I got home a little after. Uh, there was one time. I, okay, there's one time I didn't hear my phone. There's one time uh, I think I fell asleep. There's one time I was sick and I had to go see my mother because she's a retired doctor. I needed medication. She, your mother's a retired doctor? Retired. And she carries, retired. Hold on. Oh, she's retired and she carries medication for you. <laughs> You know, uh, if Adam doesn't want to get into it, I'll explain. Uh, we were going to record yesterday, oh, and we were oh, trying hold to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Adam's talking. Go ahead. Adam, go on. Okay, so I don't. there's no need to go into 10 different like levels of detail. No, we just need one I story. I was at risk, okay, of being... It's what they call a probation <laughs> violation. My lawyer spoke... I'm sure you guys know, the prosec the government prosecutor or the current prosecutor is he or she who makes the decisions. When the, When he reviewed the file... Or he, I don't know who it was. When the person reviewed the file, my lawyer spoke to that person and he said, come on, you know, Adam may have made a few a few little errors in judgment here and there, but they're very minor and this should not constitute him risking going back to jail or going to jail. Mm. So it was thrown out. Like I said, no charges. I had to see a judge and the judge says you were to continue the same conditions as pr as before. They added a couple months. That's why. That was so, why I wanted so to So you and your criminal well. friends, do you still hang out committing yeah, crimes? Absolutely or not. not. So w w w was it a mistake, a lapse in judgment, a bus schedule not working, which is why you got home late? Uh, it was a variety of okay. All together, it was about four four reports that were made. But when you look <laughs> at it, hold on a second. On you. When you look at it logically, <laughs> one isolated case, a second isolated case. Of, I fell asleep. My phone wasn't working. The battery died, so I didn't hear them when they were calling. Hey, Little I can little, relate. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I said what before, time did they call you? Okay, I can explain the. I can even explain the thing with my uh, with my doctor. I was I was pretty sick. It was Friday evening, and my I have a GP. I have a clinic that I go to, and they said we have to see you the next day. So they say wait till Monday. Well, thanks. I'm suffering. I'm coughing. So I went to see my mother so she could give me medication. That's it. That's all. Okay. Now your mother carries in what kind of medication on her? Advil, Tylenol, shit like that. <laughs> His I'm mother, not, the, drug companies, his mother the, the drug companies, his mother is The drug companies give her that medication. I'm going to tell you something right now. Yes. Uh, the drug uh. company, anybody, you could just go to the pharmacy. You don't need uh, a prescription to get uh. Advil or Tylenol. Can I, can I, I know, hold on, hold on, hold on, pause, pause. I just understood why they're rough on him. He's a fucking moron. Yes, we know this. Because obviously, if you tell your probation officer or whoever's handling your case, if you tell them, 
Yeah, bro, I really had to go, you know, Why'd get you medication. tell him? You shouldn't have said Okay, it. if my mother was not a retired doctor, I would have not had a leg to stand on. The reasoning was, I'm going to see a specialist who is going to look at me and say, what the hell, are you sick? What's I what's got Tylenol in you? my purse, hon. But you, like, do, you, you, got, do. you guys can reason this whichever way you want. Wait, is he trying to use the uh, mother excuse, but his mother's retired? Well, well, I, I, I'm not getting... You, but you do realize that Regardless telling... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. You do realize telling somebody... She's retired, somebody, he's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize telling somebody... That, yeah, I got to go see my mother. She's a retired doctor for medication. And yeah. huh, what kind of medication is that? Advil and Tylenol? Advil, exactly. That you can get, hold on. I'm talking that you can get over the counter. <laughs> sounds like a lie. It yeah. sounds it like. It is a lie. That might go against your case. That's why. So but I'll do you, under, you, do you yes, understand that? Yes. Let me tell you something very important. Maybe I've been babied a little bit too much. Whenever I'm sick, <laughs> I run to my mom. Okay. That's the God honest truth. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, fuck Adam, um, so yesterday <laughs> we, um, uh, uh, we we were recording yesterday, but uh, you, you weren't going to be here because uh, you didn't answer your phone three times. And uh, Poseidon ha- had the sniffles, and it was. But we said let's record tomorrow, and that's what we're doing now. Not but, the world. So what happened? Uh, how come you didn't answer your phone three times yesterday? So listen to this. You were I'm having sure, sex. I'm sure everybody in this place knows playground, uh, right? The poker club. Oh, of in course. Chattagi. <laughs> I was there. I got nothing to hide. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I have nothing to hide. Uh, no, you don't have to hide. It used to be a poker hub, but now they have machines, blackjack, yeah, yeah. roulette, everything. So, 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 wait, so wait, you I hit go the there sevens once in a while. You hit the sevens once in a while. I, listen, I threw it. This is. I walked in there with about eighteen dollars. <laughs> I left with six. So it was not a huge production one way or the other. It was huge. It was a huge. Fuck, bro, Guido. That's a I'm huge gonna production. kill Guido. <laughs> Guido <laughs> is the worst bit killer. Oh. On the planet, but go on and go on. Oh, you bastard. I get what so, you I get it. I get it. I, I jumped on it too early. Guido, I'm sorry. Guido alleges he called me, and it's possible. <laughs> yes. but, oh, yeah. The signal there is weak. Don't ask me why. I, I remember asking a guy inside. I said, why is the signal so weak? Everyone in that room is weak. Everybody uses Wi-Fi apparently a lot, so that's why. <clears throat> anyway, it is what it is. If you call me, if you try to call me and I'm in there, you won't get through. So, But your phone rang. He claimed, I didn't see it on missed calls, so I don't know. Three, I called them. Oh, uh, you I, know what they probably do? He, they really? probably have like signal jamming shit. There you go. Yeah. No, he. he but then again, it sounds too elaborate. No, I mean, it's, it's very plausible. They well, would all do you that. Need they want you to keep you gambling. I heard, they want to do anything to yeah. make you stay on the machine. I heard that a lot yeah. of people use Wi Fi there. I'm telling you what I heard. I, there's no really what well Wi Fi they use. I heard that a lot of people use Wi Fi and that's why it's hard to make. That's why the signal is weak. No, no, but you realize that doesn't make sense. Well, whose Wi Fi are they using? You think from their house? I have no opinion. I'm just so you don't know you. how Wi-Fi works. <laughs> Adam, did, um, <laughs> what were you playing, uh, Adam? Uh, are you were you betting on games or you were uh, a little bit of uh, there was oh. one slot machine I played like five dollars. <gasps> I was playing roulette because they have like you can bet a, a one quarter and you didn't you didn't win on roulette. Huh? If you bet a quarter and you get it, how much do you get? Okay, a quick crash course. Do you know if are you familiar with the inside and the outside? There's there's many kinds of bets that can be placed. When inside you play inside outside is my favorite. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'll give you a lecture on the inside. There's 36 numbers. Did you know that? 1 to 35 and the 0. Yes, and Let the me, red Can and you black. ever answer a simple question? I if have to if give you pick you a number, no, 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 no. If answer. you pick one number, if you pick a 24, All okay? you have to say is 31 you times your bet. It, yeah. Yeah. How much do you get? Fine. My answer is going to get five different answers. Five just different say. answer. 35 times. Okay, Done. that's I'll it. I'll give you the other number of times no depending other. No. on the other kind of bets no, you place. That's it. If you no. get a number on roulette, it's 35 times your bet. That's it. That's all he wants to know. You can get Outside, 17 if you matter. split it. No, you can split your number. ass. How about that? Okay, but the max you can get is 35 times a quarter. Yeah. If you play that low, if you play up to twenty dollars, you can add seven hundred dollars. But you go to that because it lets you play with quarters. Yes. Well, that's not the main reason. I I, I found out they actually have a draw for a million dollars. They have a draw for a million dollars there at um, once a year at Christmas time. If you get a million dollars, what are you gonna do with half that money after you give me the other half? <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked me that question today. Actually, you know what? I would lead a Someone very. Someone actually asked him exactly. I that. would lead a very secret of life. I, I, okay, um, let me turn the equation around. I would like these three people in the room to tell yeah. me what are their thoughts vis-a-vis winning that such a shitload of money. I'm I would take there. everyone in this room to Japan, and I would come back alone. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Adam, I just like the Suicide fact that you said visit. vis-a-vis. Poseidon, what does vis-a-vis mean? I have no idea, actually. But did, you went to French school. Yes, but I didn't pay attention. What? I didn't pay attention. What? <laughs> You're infuriating uh, today. I know. I don't know why. It's the blazer. It's, yeah. it's got the 80s uh, 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 shoulder pads on it. Is that is that it? There Adam, time you, did you hear what happened uh, to a guy uh, yesterday? He placed a hell of a bet. No. Earlier, not yesterday, but uh, this guy just got out of jail. 
Okay. Because You're in Montreal? He, no, in Vegas. Go ahead. Because he he was uh, uh, he placed a bet uh, at the uh, Super Bowl on because uh, they they bet on everything there, right? Will mm-hmm. Taylor Swift uh, sing or whatever. who will win the coin toss? All kinds the coin, of shit. all that stuff. Will her so, pussy fall out of her pants? <laughs> okay, but so what uh, what this guy did was he uh, placed a bet on whether or not there was going to be a streaker. Oh, and you know what he did? He placed that there wouldn't. He placed that there would be a streaker. Was there? And, and there he was. Be, he fucking ran across the field. <laughs> oh, <that's> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he won. He fucking won. He said, I spent $10,000. That's all I had. <laughs> he spent $10,000 on the oh, ticket. My. He bet $20,000 on whether or not it would be a streaker. And he's, and he just got out of jail oh, now. And he's my. like, uh, I'm very happy. How much did he, did he spend in jail? I don't know. He made enough money for it to become a news story. How long no. did he spend in jail? Uh, when was the Super Bowl? Two weeks ago. He got out today. Wow. They didn't give him bail, nothing. Just they kept him there. I don't know, man. I just. That's a minor oh. crime. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's. that's uh, look at, look at, like, he's getting ideas now. Look <laughs> at him. No, 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 no. That's a, you got to respect the players. You can't do that. <laughs> you know, when I did well in that, I don't even know if they do this anymore because I moved uh, away from Misogir, little small Malakias, and to bigger and more losing money faster uh, yeah. things. So uh, I used to bet on the Oscars because I had an advantage there because I knew Hollywood inside shit, right? Because ah. they, they would just put the Oscar odds there, but they didn't know that, uh, well, the BAFTAs, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis won, so that brings it up, blah, 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 blah. Would you make I, money? I, I made money. I made like 700 bucks once on like wow. 20, 30 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. But then I lost 150 grand, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, doing that? No. Doing... Oh, okay. um, just the, the first yeah, gambling uh, in general. Hundred episodes of this podcast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, back to Adam because I'm sure people have questions. What mm-hmm. kind of extracurricular activities did you get up to during your um, time inside? Any hookers? I never went inside. No, but inside your yeah, house. Yeah, I know house what arrest. you mean. Yeah, my rest inside my home. <laughs> yeah. Your question was, what kind of activities did I take? Yeah. Part what did in? you do? Like, because you, you guys have... are forgetting, I wasn't allowed to go anywhere for the first eight months. So, but then well, again, but you don't go anywhere even when you, you have freedom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how, how did your roommate treat hold you? Hold on, hold on. Is there an error in law? The guy, I'm sentenced to house arrest. I'm not allowed to go anywhere unless it's to see a doctor, go to court, anything government related. Mm. And you're asking me what activities that I take part in. You know That's that if I were to ex- do any, I'd get arrested or I. That would be a breach of probation. And but, but you can't do anything in your fucking house? Oh, inside. Yeah, what did you do when you were inside? Movies, That's literally yeah, what he asked you. Yeah, I was watching you. movies. Yes, yes. Uh, There's a very movies. good movie called Peppermint, by the way. I'm not going to give it away, but it's a very interesting movie. Peppermint? You just gave it away. <laughs> no, I gave away the title. Mm-hmm. It so takes place in Los Angeles, but anyway. And what's it about? A woman taking the law into her own hands. Oh, you've already said too say. much. But taking what? A taking woman, victim of a crime, taking the law into her own hands. Like death Also, she was raped? No, that's she you. saw somebody get murdered. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, okay. that's if all you guys you want well, me to say. More, you, you, I, will, I mean, you put this woman's life in danger. You've already said too much. Oh, wouldn't that be a and wonderful? You the whole movie. Wouldn't that be a wonderful scene in a movie, though? Adam under interrogation. You know, with the la- with the yeah. lamp in the. <laughs> Look, the that's all I'm, I was just there and I heard some noise. That's all I'm gonna say. And then uh, Freddie Two Tone uh, <laughs> murdered Silvio. That's all I'm gonna say. And then he dropped the murder weapon behind him. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anymore. You can actually find him right now in his mom's basement. Down there. That's all I'm going to say. Though. Oh, Adam, man, you would be perfectly cast as a guy under interrogation, man. Central <laughs> Casting, if you're listening, please contact us. So uh, you lost some hair while you were in the pen, it looks like? He lost some hair yeah, since this stressed? morning. No, one, no. I've had the same level of hair since I was 23. I will tell you something. You lost some hair on top of your head, and yet the back of your neck is filled I don't know how you're losing up top, but you're growing in the back of your neck. It's insane. It's been it's been insane. like that for years. Really? <laughs> it's connecting. Yes. The back of your head is connecting to your back all the way down. No, it's I, almost I, like his I've hair. Heard people tell me I look like a gorilla. No joke. Adam, no, it's it, almost like his hair is <clears throat> running away from his brain. You look like a gay gorilla. <laughs> a gay gorilla. <laughs> Adam, would you neglect people do, uh, uh, they, like the sections of your neck that people do daily, like when they shave, they incorporate those parts. <laughs> You don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so hold on, hold on. I need a razor. I need a... You need a razor. Oh, yeah, it's true. You, you shave skin. your face, but not the hair yeah, he stops it. here. It's true. He stops here. Yeah, you look... That's why you look ridiculous. He stops here. <laughs> it's not the only reason. Like, this part, Adam does not do this part. The... I'm motioning up my neck <laughs> with the... When I would, when I would uh, clean shave, I had a bit of hair 
here. Yeah, you would do it. And just, I would do it. Yeah. It was a very, it was oh. very little. I would do it. I would freak out. For you know, Adam, just so it's lined up. You know, for Adam to neglect this part of his body, could you imagine what he neglects? Oh, down we were here. He told oh, us another dude, episode. He told know. us it's like a bird's nest. No, it's worse. I'm sure it looks like You've the great it? Antonio. The 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 what? <laughs> he was a homeless man. But uh, the yeah. great Antonio and the not so great Antonio. <laughs> um, yeah, Adam. Um, so okay, okay. Besides your uh, okay, so we want to know. Look, 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 we, we want to yeah. know the real stuff. People, People want to know where the hell. Jesus you Christ! Sorry. People want to know. Number one, proof that you're not dead. You're here, so now they know you're not dead. Number two, <laughs> your roommate and or landlord. What has the sexual abuse been like? I said it last time. There's there's conversations I don't feel comfortable with. Okay, okay, that's one of them. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that makes sense. You do. But, uh, Hold on, bro. Because you don't realize, but he trapped you. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you fucking, you're such a dummy, bro. Because <laughs> now, even if you were in a different context, because uh, Adam now looks answer. like your landlord raped you. <laughs> but he was saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we but he has like no, no, no problem giving up uh, organized crime uh, affiliates. Oh, uh, fuck, bro. Yeah, the organized crime affiliates, he's willing to talk no about problem. that. No problem. He'll, He'll talk about, about that. Yeah. 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 Joe's the line. Because I don't live with the organized crime <laughs> No, it's, it makes sense. Actually, I am getting it. He doesn't want to bring troubles inside no, no. his house. Yeah. There's, yeah, okay. Or, or, or it's In about his family. sex. <laughs> or it's just about sex. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys... Uh, I thought I was going to educate you on a small matter. Go. When a person... Allegedly breaks their probation and they they there's new charge. I had to face the court. It it could take you two years until you you know you keep postponing the charges, postponing the charges. It's gonna however much time you spend in delaying until you, you see it. the judge it gets added. So that's why I would have been out in July, but now it's August. Just thought I would clarify. <laughs> and and then you you assume that yeah, because the, you keep telling people, yeah, bro, I gotta go to my mom's house. She's a well, retired let doctor. Let me ask How about you don't rat yourself out? How about whenever they ask you, did you break probation? You tell them never, sir. And I'm offended that you would ask. You're forgetting that they call. They call and they find well, why? So answer the phone. Home? I went to take a trip to my mom's. It, that whole wait, thing took like wait, an hour. Hold on a second. Uh, just wait, your mom oh, no, was... No, no, no. Okay. Wait, I'm fucking talking. You have a landline? Yes. Forget that. They don't call you on your cell phone. It'll be too easy. Mm -hmm. Why'd you get a landline? You? No, that's that's the rules. Those are the rules. You, you have, have to, to have answer a landline. landline. What if you oh, wait, hold on, landline. hold on, pause, pause, pause. Not People don't problem. have landlines. You just one. said earlier my phone was dead. Yeah. Yes. I was... Okay. That doesn't make one any sense. The, hold on. Poseidon, Poseidon, Poseidon hold on. Told you Poseidon, many... one sec right now. I'm the judge. You're the lawyer. Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, 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 I, I guess they called uh, ca uh, number number two. <laughs> you know, this fucking asshole. Right? He uh, thinks he's going uh, <laughs> to pull you, one over the, the, the court system. He can't even pull anyways, one over guys, us. You think he's going to pull one over on Poseidon? You know how big that tarp needs to be? Right? <laughs> you don't know, and you don't know how dumb I am. I'm welcome to say anything because I was never charged. There were never they, new charges they called that I broke probation. Secondary line, obviously, right? Because he didn't answer the landline, so they there called was a Hey, let me, are you just fucking lawyers? That way you dress like that? What's going on? This is like, a law and order episode. This is dumb and dumb. <laughs> trying to defend themselves. Your Honor, um, obviously my client uh, did not do it because Mercury was in retrograde and he's a Libra. You know when people say, oh, horoscope? I hate that. Like, it's never, it's, a, oh, I understand. Social media vanity. Police apprehended night rapidly. He was hit with multiple charges. In the criminal justice system. There are two equally important parts. The police, in, I love that show. So, so, so in the on. criminal justice system, Adam loves the show. Adam Cleavage. emulates the show. Adam is the show. Law and order. Rated R. So Adam, order. explain this, uh, your phone being dead. Yeah. Okay. Did it ever cross your mind that not everybody has just one phone? Of course, that's home, why. In their home? I okay. Love the other it. phones were operational, but not the one that I slept, that I had next to my head when I sleep, because they can call me at one in the morning. And they Hold on. The, the one that you had next to your head was not your cell phone? We're not talking about my cell phone. We're talking about the landline that's phone. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, but so you, you, had a, a, you had, I'm assuming, a cordless landline? That's and right. the battery was exactly. dead. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Oh. Now, they can't read my mind. I don't think they have a reading that, that shows the battery level. So I had to give them an explanation, and it was reported to the to the court. So I have a question. Your sexy roommate, when the phone was ringing, it rings all over the house, no? Listen, we're getting into personal details, okay? What do you mean? The please? phone rings all over the house. How is that a personal detail? <laughs> I don't need to know. You don't need to know what's going on in my personal... That's not, space. dude. Are you fucking kidding? That's where you draw the ah. line. The phone is ringing in the fucking house. The other people don't hear the, the phone ringing. That's all I'm asking. 
I don't know. It was late. It was it was the call was done at like one in the morning. So I guess not. They have the balls to call you at one in the morning. I would call. They can I, call me at four. I would complain. Just those, um, bro. If I was on house arrest and they called me at one in the morning, bro, the, but honestly, the guys, that okay, would get flown hold on, at them. A, hold on a second, guys. It's time for the truth. <laughs> Rarely did they call me that late. Usually 10 30, 11 30. I mean, they, they listen. I, it's okay to joke around with the people. It's public security, right? They know I'm not one of these, uh, you know, repeat offenders that's been in and out of jail five times. So hold on, First I have a question. Last time we joke so, around sometimes. So they would mostly call you around ten and ten thirty. Ten thirty. So you heard that, folks? If you're under house arrest during the daytime, <laughs> is perfect so, to be outside of the house during a house arrest. So Adam, uh, the way I see <laughs> it is uh, uh, okay. So luckily, your mom is a doctor. Mm-hmm. So what you did was you were doing some horsing around. And uh, decided to go with the my to mother's add. a doctor excuse. It says right here that unless I'm outside to go see a doctor. So I was going to see my mother, who's a doctor, at midnight. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a gray area, right? It's not right. Black, so it's that, not that's white. what you went with. I want to know what you really were doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. There's another piece of information I didn't I didn't <laughs> divulge, and it won't make sense until I divulge it. I wasn't sitting at home every day because you're allowed to work when you're on house arrest. Okay, okay? so you're saying you were working. It, this 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 particular action happened at around 5 p.m. on Friday night. This I left work at whatever it was, 4 o'clock. I went to my mom's. It was before that. Excuse me. I, 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 got, I got news. I don't have a private jet, so by the time I take no the metro, way. I get to my mother's place. This whole, ench- whatever you want to call it. Enchilada. Thank you. <laughs> this whole spiel took about an hour and a half. Got to my mom's place, went back home. It was during that time that they happened to call. So it went on file. Why did Mr. Adam not answer? It's my responsibility to at least explain why I didn't answer. Mm-hmm. And then the, what did the all court right. say? As I said earlier, there were four such reports made. They were all minor matters. Okay? Marshall matters. My, when my lawyer had a meeting with the Crown Prosecutor, it was determined that they were not <coughs> serious. Furthermore, my probation agent, you know, we've had a series of meetings. She can tell that I'm not a person who's like poo-pooing the system. I got it. <laughs> <That'll>, oh, <laughs> what, 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 what? You never heard that word? Poo-pooing, Twat. making fun of. I'm not... You were making fun of this guy? I'm not... Let me ask you, was your lawyer, did, not, he, did he not know how to buy the proper length of pants? <laughs> he just, was he one of those guys? Like you see him, if the pants are wrong, you're like, I'm going to jail, bro. <laughs> okay, so I use a word nobody he's, knows, and now we're on the subject, right? He's uh, he's five foot eight, and he buys length uh, thirty four pants, bro. <laughs> he, do- <laughs> he doesn't get them short. How does the whole store have a flu? So, Your Honor, I wore this ridiculous thing for you. You guys get what I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. It was determined really. that I respected the system, and I wasn't laughing at it. You are cl- clearly laughing at it right now, going with the uh, my mother's a doctor excuse right in everyone's ears. Yeah, and it's 2 a.m. right now, by you the way. You can interpret the facts whichever way you want. Oh, I don't agree, but what do you want me to tell you? Look, you know what? I've um, I've done a, I've done stupid shit. I d- last Saturday I did something stupid. What did you do? Well, as usual, um, I went to uh, I had a job interview. What? For the first time in your life? <laughs> Second time. Pretty much. No, no, no. I had what I assumed was a job interview. No, it was a gay porno. You keep going to that. Um, he does go to that well. He, he uh, fucking like we always, always goes to the I think gay this well. Is the f- first time uh, I've gone to it. No, no it's not. Uh, literally, I can, gay porno? How many times did no, I say uh, it was uh, a gay last, porno? Last episode, yeah, Gabe's going to make a I whole thing. I said gay porno uh, last episode. You said, yeah, anyway. Can so, we like we don't talk? <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Oh, Don't you, you ever fucking interrupt me. <laughs> Thanks for leading the show, Adam. That was nice of you. Big I appreciate that. So Saturday, I went to what I thought was a job interview. But uh, uh, then I, I was saying to myself, why, why is this pizzeria asking me 7.30 p.m., 8 p.m. on a Saturday? Isn't that the rush? Okay. When I get there, I notice something. Okay. Everybody here just finished Shabbat, and they're all Orthodox Jews. So I was in a very kosher restaurant. Okay. So that's why. So I, because I thought, oh, I'm just gonna go in there and talk to the owner for five minutes. So we'll work out a deal, and I'll come back because he's asking me not to come in early. Because you know. So as we, I was we, there, by the way, you're speaking as if we all understand what you're trying to tell us, but you haven't gone the finish line. But you're when pretending you like we got the finish line. Yo, you guys no, get no, it? You no, guys no, feel restaurant, no restaurant would would ask you to come in at 7:30 p.m. That's the dinner rush. But you were there. All right. So, but besides that, forget that. Let's stop concentrating on that. I didn't uh, tell this story properly. I didn't start it properly, like anything in my life. So, I, and, uh, remember when I uh, uh, was talking to a girl on the phone um, and, yeah, and went, drove ruined. over um, um, Mount Everest? Yeah, yeah, yeah the phone sex situation. You ruined your car? All right. 
So <laughs> uh, what happened this time was I was talking to uh, uh, David from Nonna Maria. That I'm supposed to know who that is. Bald man. Um, is this another phone sex story? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, we, 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 enough that I was so distracted that as I'm talking to him, going to work, going to this job interview, I'm like, okay, I got to call you back. I ran out of gas. So Wait, now, hold on, hold on. While you're driving, your car stopped and so you ran out of gas? Why are I, you I, I, I'm on the, the, the owner says, are you going to be here at 7.15? Could you come a bit earlier? I said, no problem. I'm on Cote St. Luke. <sighs> at 7.18, I run out of gas. I pull over. And now uh, I'm 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 not far, so I put ran. the car in neutral and I push it into uh, the you know <laughs> the park. You okay? have a fucking I'm, train okay? right. <laughs> Cars behind me, 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 me. And um, so then I put my knapsack on with my pizza clothes and I walk to the in bitter cold to this uh, uh, lovely uh, pizza place. And uh, now it's a rush because Shabbat just finished. So I didn't know this guy wanted me. All I did was open pizzas up now. From 8 p.m. till 11.30 p.m., I did not stop making pizzas with another dude. Just I put the shit on. The other guy puts it in the oven. It was a whole operation. And then they all left. Now it's midnight. I'm like, all right, see you later, guys. And I'm like, whew, okay. I'm glad I got that out of the way. Where the fuck is my car? So now I walk around Cote St. Luke from... Well, you forgot where you parked? 12.30 Jesus at night Christ. till 2 a.m. Hold on. Did you forget where you parked or you took it? You didn't take it off neutral and just I, kept going? I, no, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I walked from 2.30. It's from midnight yeah. till 2.30 in the morning. Don't ask and the I question. Caught, I caught the... I'm sorry. Did you leave it in neutral and the car rolled down the hill and you couldn't no, find it or you I, forgot where you I parked? I 100% parked it and I went to where I... So you I, forgot where you parked I it? I went to where I, I parked the car and I'm like, well, the car's not here. Did it get towed? Let me walk some more. And I walked. And But but I, I could have sworn it was Ellerdale. It was the street Ellerdale. Walking around to the point where I couldn't feel my lips anymore. That the uh, Edouard Montpetit bus came. The 51? I, I jumped on and uh, the monsieur brought me to the Snowden Metro and I took the last Snowden Metro home. Where's your car? <laughs> so now I wake up. Remember I had a photo shoot? Remember I had a photo shoot? Yeah. I had to do, I, I, I never went. Re, there's no way you're a real person. I never person, went to bro. that photo shoot. So now. Why? The next morning. Because you have to go look for his I car. I have no car. So I wake up in the morning and I call 311. Ville de Marielle, Marzoin. They let you know if your car's been And they tell you. me I had to give them the, 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 uh, the, the plate number and to check to see if it was towed. Because perhaps I put it in a bus lane or something, wherever the hell. Because I was just concentrating on don't be late. I just pulled over wherever. Uh, so Ville de Montréal says we have no cars towed. So then I call uh, Ville de Hampstead. That guy, one guy, actually answered the phone. He's like, no, we don't have uh, uh, um, that sort of car um, in towing. So now I'm like, what do I got to do? So I call my uh, uh, Romanian uh, friend, Tiberius, you know, the laboratory guy. Oh, fuck. And uh, he, because uh, he's going, he works in at Mamma Mia. This place is right down the street from... Uh, my cousin's place. So I, I meet him and he and I drive around and you know what happened? What? I picture it like this. Rather than uh, walking on uh, Dudamain, I'm walking on Salaberry. So I kept walking for two hours up and down the wrong street. I didn't realize it was just a block away. You know what that is, Poseidon? That's what I call a stupid error. No, no, no. I'm sorry. You cannot say that's a stupid error. That, that is bad sperm. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> mental retardation. Well, I understand we're going to get to it, but I, you there's bastard. no, there's like, the, that's insane. <clears throat> I was so tired. You're the only person I, I know. Heard. I could not believe how dumb that was, that I, I did not walk another extra block. I was freezing and I didn't, I said, I could, that couldn't possibly be that far. Now I'm not going to go check there. I'm just going to keep going left and right a hundred times. <laughs> it was just right there. Can't stand you. I hope you guys don't. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't gonna perceive me as, as being mean. But my father, since a young age, always told me, "Remember where you parked." <laughs> Adam, you don't have a car. Adam, well, hold on. What did you say? It's something I. Yeah, but I've had well, one. Hold on. I'm I'm Adam, what did you just say? I said I don't want to be perceived as mean, but that's something that I learned a lesson from. What my, was the lesson? To me, but my by my father, always remember where you parked your car. Holy shit, that's a good fucking. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Has anyone ever? Did you copyright that? 
<laughs> he it was talking more t-shirt. like when you're in a, a part, like a you know a, a shopping mall parking lot shit like that. Well, yeah, yeah, he's not a dickhead. Of course, you're talking about a shopping mall. <laughs> but uh, have but, you ever thought of copywriting that? That's like that's good advice. <laughs> no, I <haven't. laughs> I, the way I see it is you, when I'm consumed with something, I completely forget what's going on around me. No, no, this is next level. This is this is this is insane. Have you ever walked into a gas station, given the guy twenty bucks for uh, uh, you know gas, and get in your car and drive away? It happened to me not too long ago. <laughs> 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 you see? <laughs> you see? <laughs> Wait, I didn't get a car. Hour later, it was, a, it, was, uh, it was a rental car. Yeah, he's been renting cars. I'm telling you, th- what you're looking at right now, those two criminals beside him, this is Grand Theft Auto Montreal. It's these two dickheads. That's Adam, insane. How do you guys function in life? Adam, I want to know what, what you needed to rent a car for. What errands did you have to run? I was working in a restaurant. I never said errands. You said errands. You're a, you're hold on, hold on, hold on. You're working at a restaurant, and why would you need... You, you needed the car to get to the job? Because I was a delivery driver. Oh. So you're working, making deliveries for a restaurant. You weren't in the kitchen. Of course not. There hold you on, go. This, there hold you on. Go. This, is the, this is the first time I ever hear this. I'll go. It's, I don't mind giving you more details. Yeah, I want to know a how you were delivering. A rental car, if you're unlucky, it can cost up to $400 a week. That's insane. Mine what, cost what, what, me what, what, what? The cost of a rental car can be $400. It could be, yeah, could be a lot. It could be a lot. It could be a lot. Yeah, you think buying one is more uh, cost effective. Yeah. I'm getting there. But, you know, last time I checked. He needs uh, a down payment. Thank you. He needs the He needs the big hit. That's why he plays the sevens. What are you talking about, bro? You could just walk into a dealership and tell them you make three thousand a month and get a finance for two hundred dollars a month. Yes and no. You yes, have no, 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 no. Yes. You're working somewhere. No, you don't. <sighs> okay. Part of the reason That's why we're in this area. problem, it, like society, like economically wise, is is because of maybe well, people have gotten uh, eight hundred thousand dollar loans from the bank for mortgages. We so, found out. Yeah. But do, what are the chances Adam and, says the right okay. or wrong and things? I'm sure they had RSPs. They had they had no. They a didn't. You're not listening to what he's telling you. They must have had a down payment for but the hold mortgage. On, hold on. So you had a credit card to rent a car. Yeah. I can't. So if he, 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 you see, that's upsetting Poseidon. You see what's happening there? No, I want to hold a gun to their head. I said, give me your card. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why do you complicate your life like this? Yeah. First yeah, of all, you could facilitate do you think I life? rented that car for a whole bunch? It was like two, three weeks. And guess what? I got laid off. He <laughs> 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 got laid off. Yeah, because you know why? <laughs> I like how he calls it laid off instead of fired. The owner asked you, hey, that car's pretty new. Where'd you get it? Oh, I rented it. And he's I, like, yeah, this guy's a retard. Get rid of him. I told him the truth. I told him the truth, and then he truthfully and, fired me. Yeah, I told him the truth, and he's like, uh, nah. Adam, that's... um. Jesus, Adam, I don't know who you are anymore. I okay, understand. guys, if, if everybody has to, like, uh, you know, look at me like they look, you know... If, I, if everybody has to... Put me under the microscope. I will gladly explain. Yes. It was in my plans to purchase a car. I wanted to see what the working but conditions you, were like. How much money am I going to make? But did you see what Poseidon said? He said, you have a credit card. So why didn't you use that uh, OK credit score to get a car. finance a car? For the record, okay. for the record, for the record, I got a car when I was 21 and I was unemployed. And they financed me a car. And you know what? Then they I must have charged you up to was up to the asset interest. Oh, no, but six th- percent. Not, must have been, I don't know. Listen, I know. Do you guys not think that I've visited banks before and I've inquired? Well, no, I don't think you I, did. I, I think I, it, I mean, I rather than visiting nose. a car dealership, you visited banks. That's the difference. I visited a car dealership too. A car dealership. Yeah. I visited one of them. Yeah, there's so many, Adam. I, I, eventually, somebody's going to say yes, bro. You just got to keep going. All right. All right. So please don't, don't use it against me that I have I'm not com- using that anything my against common you. sense is a little different from yours. Whether it's a bank oh. or a dealership. Adam, Adam, you see what you did now? <laughs> Look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. That's why you're wearing red. Adam, my favorite humanoid son. Oh, I heard you've been terrorizing the intellectuals again <laughs> with your retardation. Adam, why don't you just buy a car, my son? A chariot of fire. <laughs> takes time, okay? I'll give you a it half 1.5 second time. answer. It takes time. Your friend, the sea goddess Thank Poseidon, you. can help you. <laughs> Listen to Poseidon, he will get you a vehicle. Also, he can find you adult workers. He did say... Um, of the sexual kind. Yeah. 
that would be a perfect job for Adam driving okay. driving around. Here's a little uh, bit of here's a little of something girls. which I believe would be equivalent to the voice of reason. Would be perfect for them, for he is a pervert. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the company, but there are some Uber cars that have F plates, which means it belongs to a business. These are com- these are cars that are rented by the Uber drivers, and it's no, says, hey, asshole. Adam, you're so They're fixated white. on Be quiet that because you don't know shit. You're so fixated on that. This guy's saying that there's a possibility with your credit score and your credit card, you can go. Get yourself a, at twenty years First old, of all, unemployed. He had a. They gave him a car. Do you, so you think Uber tr- drivers rent their cars? But you fucking insane. the F plate. You know what the F plate was? Hey, next hey, time listen to me. You know what the F plate was? The F plate. There were some dealerships running a program for Uber drivers for a while. Mm-hmm. Okay, they would loan them out. Or they would lease a car to them for X amount of years at a certain monthly rate. That's how long it is. Yes. So the thing is, but they didn't have to do any repairs. It was insurance included. It was like a whole thing. So instead of costing you three bills a month, but then you got to pay insurance, then you got to pay repairs. Four or five. You would pay, no, well, no, you would pay like six, seven. So it was double, but you didn't have to worry about anything. So it costs you roughly the same as much, but you didn't have to go through the headaches so you could focus more on driving, blah, blah, blah. That's what the F plate is on Uber driver cars, by the way. Or sometimes some people, they, you know, to, to write the car off, if it's going to be just Uber usage, uh, they put it under the business name. That's, but that's another thing. I was at a dealership today. And Brag. Uh, and the guy the guy asked me how much you make a month. And I looked him dead in the eyes. Oh, like nine grand. I just made it up. Yeah, because he goes by your well, body yeah. language and not statistics. I guess it's a good place to just say that. But yeah, you just made it up. <laughs> why did you? Why did you allegedly, lowball? Them, allegedly, I, I don't think I'm crazy when I say that they may verify that on your credit. Rate. It shows your your income on your credit. No, uh, it doesn't. That's not what your credit score does. Or your company. No, and if doesn't. a guy claims he's making hundred grand and he's only making forty, let's it say, doesn't show that on your credit. Cre- empl- no, 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 your credit. Yeah, and then if they, if somebody questions, well, yeah, you should make hundred, not make forty. Do you think who's who's who wants you to have the car more? This the is bank why you were or the dealership? <laughs> Pardon? Who wants you to oh. have the car more? The bank or the dealership? I thought they were on the same side. They no, no, no. Which one? Which one do you think? Do you think the salesman there acts like the the, the person at the bank? Or do you think he wants the commission? Oh, I see. Okay. So I he's going to do everything in his power mm-hmm. to make sure you leave with a car and he gets his commission. Yeah, Adam, I will tell you one thing Instead for sure. Instead of a bank manager who's going to say, so yeah, you're right, I can't Go do ahead. nothing. And the dealership right. gets a kickback from Go the finance. Ahead, yeah. yeah, Adam, I will tell you one thing. Just You should know this because you're 57 years old, but I'll tell you this right now. That's not so, my age, society, but so, Society, okay, the way it works, it's all nonsense. The bank... Everything is made up. The bank's money is made up. That's how they keep sending money all over. And all of it's made up. They don't care. They just want you to play along in this game. So just nod your head, say yes, sign on the dotted line, and take your fucking car. There's a reason why people who just moved here who don't speak English or French have apartments and vehicles that they're leasing and they don't have a job, and you don't. It's because they're saying, yes, my friend, thank you. And you're sitting there being like, well, you know, uh, my, my, my landlord roommate uh, sexually harasses me and I can't have a car. That's the difference. So just go say yes. Listen to Poseidon. Let him get you a car. How much can you afford a month? Okay. Honestly. Can I please have answer the right my question? Well, he never does. steps backwards. Yes, but answer my question it's first. It's in my plans. We're on the same side here. It's been here. in your plans since before okay. the pandemic, bro. I have a question. I have a question. Seriously, how much How much monthly can you afford, honestly speaking? Did I not just tell you about five minutes ago I got laid off? Did I not just finish saying that? Yeah, How much money did, did you make a month fired. ago? I, I understand, but you know, yeah, but look, can we keep this for off? You the can air? apply All for right. benefits right. anyway. Okay. Okay. Look, I I let me ask you: Do you know the rules well enough that if he's not working, you can get him to get benefits from the government? So even though he's not working, he can make money. Can you do that? Yeah, I need his. Uh, yeah, I need access to everything See? to do it for him. Yeah. Well, Paul, you, so you can get him. You can get him paid. Him. I could probably get him a, a, a monthly salary from the government because he's clearly yes, incapable yes. of we, working. We know that. How and much? There's a, a video evidence of this. Yeah. How much do you think? It depends on the disabilities that I put him up for. You know what? And that he has. That's a good idea. Why not? You know. You know how many people? How many people yeah. actually take that don't deserve it? Oh, he deserves yeah. it. Adam deserves it. I think he, you generally deserve it. There, yeah. There's some kind of benefit. I mean, I look pay, at your I face. Pay, I, pay no, enough, I pay enough taxes. <laughs> I pay enough taxes that Adam should be able to have a car. Yeah. Like, honestly, honest, I'll have you... I'll I have can you. have your car in three months. 
Okay, guys. And, uh, and an income. Politely and respectfully, do you know what you guys are doing? He's still debating You're this. kind of cornering me, okay? It should be my We're trying to help you. decision. Okay, if let, I'm ready, let's do it your I'll way. approach you. Is I mean, in his he defense, he's literally in the corner. Yet, yet, yet. Please burn those three letters into your head. Yet. Okay, what do you, what do you need? Yet. He told you to say yes, and he's nod your head yet. up and down. But very yet. much like how when you nod your head to your yeah. landlord. So I, I do have one thing to tell you, Adam. <laughs> yes. You have noticed that. Remember when you fell for men pretending they're women online? Remember you fell for all those scams? <laughs> and now hold on, hold on. And now you have you're renting a car to deliver all this stupid shit. You do realize that your instincts are horribly <coughs> wrong and dumb. So can you listen to us for one second, even though it hurts you inside, to listen to 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 these two idiots around you? Can you just, especially Poseidon, who actually works, he works in has the a girlfriend, has an apartment, yeah. owns a human being, like he knows what he's doing in life. Two human beings. Did you, you just know, say he owns a human being? That's yes. none of your business. Two human beings. Yeah. <laughs> but well, the, you said the, it. But he does. But the point is, he he can actually help you with this. You keep getting upset. You keep getting upset, but just let the people that know what they're doing help you take advantage of the resources around you so you can live no a better problem. life. And, and no this problem. is a country, this is a country, by the way, where they'll gladly pay you a monthly salary. But people will pay you a monthly salary just so that you don't go uh, into another job and ruin that job for other people. Like, they'll, they'll pay you to not work a yeah. regular job. And, and you can make In other words, there's a lot of clerical stuff you can do to get benefits that are but offered to you. It's not even clerical stuff. No, like it's offered it's, to it's, every citizen. It's bro, the guy clearly yeah. can't hold a job yeah. for more than a month. Yeah. Like, there's a record. About, okay. There is proper paperwork to fill out to say, I need help. I'm uh, mentally unstable. Okay. And they give you Gosh. a handout. All right, listen. Good. May That's I enough. please point out, it's something I, I'm not proud of, but since every all the listeners know it now, bro, did you shoot I yourself? was on house arrest, okay? <laughs> There are limitations <laughs> to what you can do. Wow. Okay? I know, but it's that's that neither here nor there. This is amazing. This has nothing that to do with the to do. They're yeah. not related. He's so They're used not related. To what we're saying is because of your history of, of getting fired from everywhere, because of that history, we can prove, we can literally prove so that you mad. cannot uh, hold down a job. We oh. can also prove definitely an intellectual deficiency. We can get you maybe 1200 bucks a month. You could pay your roommate, and then you could live your free life without having to go in some place that has a fax machine. I'll tell you what, guys. Adam, you don't We're seek the, the solution. You seek the point. debate. Adam seeks the yeah. argument. He doesn't seek the, the, okay, the but, solution. Okay. He you, just wants the argument. They're offering you free money. What a Poseidon. crazy notion that I plan to get a regular job. Do you guys think that I didn't work while but I was But who's you telling know, you? You're not understanding. You're not understanding. We're not saying you, you, you can't plan for that. You try to get a regular... How old are you, Adam? 45. You've been trying to get a regular job for 30 years. <laughs> Like you, Those are your words. I don't agree with them. Okay, so you've been trying for 40. What do you want me to fucking tell you? The point is you can't hold down a job, right? So there's Poseidon. Poseidon comes in and helps you out. That's what we're saying. Adam, I, you've been asking and how nothing, to get a car for so long. This guy has a solution for you, and, it's, and now you're debating And him. by the way, we Rather live in a country saying, okay, cool, where, all this, where all this would be legitimate. There's a safety yeah, there's net no, yeah, there's no, specifically you're for not guys like you. Illegal. This is 100% legal. This is why we're talking about it I'm so openly. It's and why he's arguing this. Because you actually, Adam, you actually cannot okay, hold a job for more yeah. than a month. I'm According not to go you guys, I had one for what, six, seven months? Yeah, that's not a good thing. You're yeah. fucking 42 years I'm, old, bro. You guys have no clue what I did when I was five years ago, 10 years ago. Okay, hold on. Yeah. That, that that's job, not your business, That right? job that you hold for si held for six, seven months, what was it? I, I described it to you, remember? I was working for the company that was competing with the the, uh, the yellow pages, you know, the the advertising. Oh, uh, the, he was calling people thing. and asking them if they wanted to buy 1994. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, hi, this is Adam I'm calling from 1997. <laughs> that job didn't fire you right away <laughs> because the uh, telemarketing scam, <laughs> you bastard. The, a telemarketing scam that that's twenty count. years too late. <laughs> okay, I don't mind. I don't mind laughing. You call it a job? Yeah. It's a side hustle for other people. Yes. For you, it's a job. <laughs> it's a career. <laughs> we went to a school where we wore ties, Adam. We wore ties in our school. No, Adam, for real, if you do talk to him after for a couple of weeks, let him hook you up because it would be good for you to get some money in the bank and get a car at least. I, I agree. Around. This but is a good opportunity for you. Don't don't fuck this one up. Um, Look, Adam, I, you'll be able to get yourself a nice three and a half at about a thousand a month. I'll get you a car payment for about three hundred a month. Insurance, you're what forty? What are you? Five. I just told you. Forty-five. You're gonna pay about eighty bucks a month. Do you have any records of accidents? No. Nope. None. That's a wow. shocker. The, it erases in the last, last seven years. In the last, last six years. years in the last six years, none? Nope. Nice. I could get it for maybe even 60 a month. Gas is going to cost you about $80 a week. 
depending on how much he drives. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on this one. I'm gonna join Adam. I I I, uh, I want you to do the same for me. I, I mean, there's enough video evidence that you could yeah. both qualify. No, no, no. I have the paperwork. <laughs> I have Dr. Weisbord signed paper saying this guy was admitted to a psych ward. Like, we know people. I'm yeah. not going to say where. But, but no, who, I'm not joking. But we know actual people who take advantage of the system. And they, they're nowhere near you guys' level. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're legit. <laughs> yeah. Fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you notice that the car I drive is not my car, Poseidon? So I need a car. So I. Uh, What's the car you were driving? The phone what, sex car. Whose car am I driving right now? I don't know. I didn't see you outside. Yeah. Bro, the car I've been driving for the last year. Oh, yeah. It has a handicap. <laughs> it has oh, a, yeah, yeah. It's my, it's my family my, members. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because my car still has New Jersey plates. But so I need. Oh, that's the reason. Uh, I need. Uh, I need. So I'll join Adam with paperwork and I'll, I'll encourage him to do it. And you'll, you'll get a double whammy. I'm, so, I'm, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm yeah. going to help them both out to get at least a. Gouvernement du Québec slash retards. <laughs> no, you're going to get from federal and provincial as well. The provincial is going to be less, even though we pay more taxes, but whatever. I, I have the paperwork. I'm not kidding. I'll okay, <laughs> Poseidon, you could be the social worker. I'm very happy to hear this. Like, Because yeah. this is getting... But like, the guy rented a car to work a delivery job that fired him after three weeks. <laughs> yeah, it is you crazy. You understand? That you can't make... That's crazy, bro. You can't yeah. make this up. <laughs> literally, literally, you, like, you did everything wrong, Adam. There's no way to make money the way you're doing things. You're gonna. It's just burning a hole in your pocket. Let Poseidon put some some of that government cheese in your pockets. Adam, are you an impulsive person? Well, taxpayers' cheese, but you know. I would say. <laughs> you would say you're. I would not say I am. Unemployable. No, 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 no impulsive. 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 Oh, oh, you're a hundred percent impulsive. Yeah. Yeah, because see, you have it, impulse control. That's what I just thought. Impulse this control second. problems. <laughs> yeah, impulse control. Because I know after this, Adam is gonna. Uh, we have to get him. Um, uh, well, you would say that you know renting the car for a job was a stupid error. Well, because impulsivity is what brought right. me to hell. <laughs> I'm begging you guys to please give me a little bit of a, con con a concession that what I'm about to tell you is based on the voice of reason. Okay, 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 okay. hold on. When I got the okay, when the guy called me, come and work at my restaurant. I didn't have time to plan. That's why I got the rental car. It was in my plans to purchase a car. Okay, do you not understand purchase that when I got car. laid off? That so then hold on. Things. Why don't you tell them, hey man, uh, I don't have a car right now. I'm Can trying I do to buy something one. in the kitchen? Can I do something in the kitchen? Can I wash dishes in yeah. the meantime? And yeah. then once I get a car, I'll be able to do deliveries as well. They had a dishwasher. Adam, okay, cannot, it, yeah. You know how in like look, and that dishwasher has a car. Let me please <laughs> please. Very, you know what economists do? They look no, at all the variables. He it's never very said, difficult for yourself. you to stand corrected. That's all, Adam. Yeah. That's he all I want to say. He never told me to go screw myself. When the place picks up, we will call you again. So that, I'm looking at it more in terms of, okay, you're saying get a car just in case they call you. I'd rather do the other. They call me, then I worry about the car, not the okay. other way around. When I was unemployed, yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... It's not the only place that needs a car. I can't believe I'm giving advice to a 45-year-old <laughs> grown man. What I is can. this? I can. <laughs> okay, when I, bought, I bought, I, when I bought my car, I was 21, okay? Initially, I didn't need the car because I was working downtown, and it wasn't viable for me... <laughs> What? He could have taken the metro. Oh, he's <laughs> Adam's face made me laugh. Sorry. Why? Because <laughs> he just made a funny face. And it made me laugh. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I worked downtown for three years. After that, anyways, I lose that job. And then I'm like, ah, fuck. You know what? I kind of want to get a car. I was on employment insurance, bro. I know what it is. And I got, a, I, got a, I got a Wait. car. They approved me for a car. They approved me for a $20,000 loan. That car... Did I stress a little bit for the payments? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Did I at some point think, like, am I going to run out of employment insurance before I get a job? Of course. That's part of life. But that car got me certain jobs I never had access previously. Yeah, but he's not seeking those jobs. He's only thinking, this guy, if he calls me back, I'll worry about a car. You can't, but you can't, <laughs> you, you can't work right, like that in society. Right. you got to prepare yourself for any situation. <laughs> no, no, yeah, as fast right. as you could. He's right. Granted. He's right. He's right. Adam, I'll, I'll concede to Poseidon. Like, he's definitely correct. you got to... Uh, prepare yourself and, and be ready for any situation because yeah. you're very you're not proactive you're reactive yes so you wait till somebody shows up and, and they walk in your house and you're like oh maybe I should get I a door because these people are walking in my house no you should have a door so people don't walk into your house you feel me doggy <laughs> it's true it's, it's like the uh, uh, the actor that waits for the phone to ring or the actor that goes out and tries to audition yeah um, no uh, problem, he, no he's problem. absolutely right but Adam in any case I'm yeah. going to do that as well um, Adam did you know that um, uh, uh, Vladimir Putin's uh, um, opponent was murdered 
No, no, Read this. no. That was in my notes. What? Huh? <laughs> no, no. It said that he had uh, a case of, and I quote, sudden death syndrome. Oh, that's a thing. So I think he was just vaccinated. I've got a very actually intellectually based conversation which I wanted to have with you guys. All right, say it quick because well, then we'll go because we, we have fire. a microphone. So I read the paper the other day, and his mother, I believe, is, is wants to get the Russian government to show the body, and they won't. The last time I checked... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Of course they won't. That's disgusting. You're just going to have a dead body paraded around? No, I'm well, go to the that. morgue. She wants to go to the morgue and well, look That's not it. what you said, though. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I wasn't clear. She wants to see the body. I didn't say where. No, okay, you said she the... wants him to show off the body. At the morgue. Okay. Like if you're I showing use... off your neck. Fine. I, I didn't Excuse use me? the words at what the morgue. What did I walk into? Navalny. The man is a sick pervert. Do you know who Navalny is? The Russian... Um, a guy who uh, was in Russian politics. The guy who was murdered by Putin in oh, jail. Oh, okay. allegedly. All we know is that he okay, got allegedly. sudden death allegedly. syndrome. Fine. And that could happen with many variables. One of them is a communist dictator, and the other one is for the Pfizer vaccine. Yeah. Uh, so, or, or, or you could be another or person Moderna. believing that that could just happen to anybody. You know, <clears> like the, the people that will believe that will be people that rent cars to <laughs> so let me work the delivery. Please tell job. you my logic. Okay, go ahead, Adam. All we right. want to hear your logic. Okay. It's a logical answer. I am not an. I'm not a legal expert. I'm not a lawyer. I don't no, know shit. how these we things work. work. <sighs> However, Could have me. I don't understand if the Russian government is within their rights to not say, "Come to the morgue and see your son's body." They're, they're refusing that. I don't know if that's a violation of any any Russian laws. I th- yeah, I, I'm uh, just pressed not, you can't sue the government for that. No, you can't because you're not in the U.S. You're in fucking Russia. Mm. You, you're literally described. They just killed a political opponent. You think they gave a fuck <laughs> about you getting upset about what they're doing? That's the problem with totalitarian governments. I thought the the communist government collapsed in 1989. They took on a, de- a, a democratic form since then. No, they're not democratic, that, considering just, that it's been the same. That has been the same guy. It's not. It's not full well, on techni- communism. Technically, it's yeah, technically yeah. it's like this new uh, yeah. form of like external uh, capitalism. It's like half capitalism, half communism. Because yeah. socially, they do a lot of communist shit. Mm-hmm. Like you see, it's the same leader over yeah, and over. Yeah, yeah. But they do a lot of capitalism stuff in the sense of trade and expansion. They're trying to make money. Right. So it's like it, a hybrid. But in terms of the way they run the country. That's not. It's been the same guy in charge for fucking the, the 30 com- years. The bro. communist ideology is still in people's what? heads. Could it be that there's just no other leader that's good enough to compete with? Yeah, them, because every put- time they get killed. <laughs> or, or, they, or you know why they're not good enough to run the country? These fucking losers, bro. They keep getting sudden deaths. And they keep dying, bro. What a bunch yeah. of losers. No, no, no one takes are vitamin you trying, D. Are you trying to run a country and you suddenly <laughs> die? I'm, I'm pussy. <laughs> you, you, just, you just asked that question. This man was the opposition leader <laughs> attempting to overtake and be a democratic And he politics, died in prison. And he died of poisoning in prison. <laughs> I so you're asking on, yourself, I thought it was a democratic... Uh, I read on the internet he was actually in Germany he, and he got sick over there. And yeah, you know was, who you are. Sick before. Do you know who you are, bro? You are the... You're the amalgamation of every CNN watcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the final yeah. boss of CNN, CNN to, watchers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and the people in, in Russia, too, they, they are... It, when They're like, you know... Uh, controlled with uh, that that same communist stuff that they think is still there, but it's not there. Just say this is how it is in Russia, so you must understand. Okay. <laughs> All right, go to your top five because I'm gonna kill both of them. Oh fuck, bro. Adam, you ever make stupid errors? I'd like you to be a little bit more specific. <laughs> no, do you? Have you ever made any? Like a mistake? It happens. I'm human. Remember? Oh, you came inside. What? Uh, this week's top five and a half stupid errors. All right. Number five, Harold and his pothead friends. Okay, this is a quick story <laughs> I came across. Is this guy Harold? Um, he was uh, with his uh, friends smoking weed in uh, maybe Utah or something where it's illegal. Is this a real story? Real story. And uh, he gets uh, arrested uh, for uh, him and his friends for uh, possession of marijuana. Uh, is this the story of Harold and Kumar? No, but uh, uh, correct. But, but no, not possession, but he gets arrested. Okay. And uh, the whole time the cops were talking to him and his two buddies uh, about this possible cannabis uh, thing. Uh, he didn't say a word. He was a genius. He was a genius. He fucking to the point that when they went to trial... He could have gotten off scot-free because he never admitted to anything. 
But you know what this guy was doing? He wore, he decided that morning to wear a cannabis t shirt. <laughs> okay. And that's what ended up putting him back in, getting him, uh, you know, the, he got the, 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 it, it basically, he was found guilty because of the stupid shirt. Otherwise, he would have gotten away with it. The cannabis merch gave him away. Yeah. The cannabis merch uh, did not uh, help his situation. That's his fashion. Uh, I mean, that's it's still a bit of, look, now that I'm thinking about it, it's still a bit of a stretch. I, I, I don't have all the details because I'm an intellectual, but uh, uh, trust yeah. me, uh, when I read it, it was good, bro. That was a good stretch from the... Mm. From and then he probably succumbed, like he probably like oh fuck yeah no he had the he had the fourth shadowing fourth thinking fourth thought foresight foresight ah William Foresight great actor uh, uh, to not say a word when the cops were asking you know they yeah. say shut the fuck up don't give a but he was dumb enough to be <laughs> wearing a pothead t shirt we well, allowed to wear I'd like to share I something know, on yeah. that very same subject whatever it okay. is the the choice of shirt is what fucked him up whether it's right or wrong well look I have a t shirt that says commit tax fraud I don't commit tax fraud. <laughs> If you were on trial for tax fraud and you wore that shirt, what would happen? That's the difference. He'd be upset, but they couldn't do nothing if they can't prove that he's done tax exactly. fraud. Exactly. I would have filed an appeal. It, it, could, it could be <laughs> comedy related. I just think it's funny. I don't want to look for it now. Do you guys yeah, want to I, use, I agree with you. I have my own story to share. Like I, 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 he could have literally just said, oh, I don't know, it kind of looked like a nice flower to me. Do you guys ever watch that show called Court Cam? No, go well, on. Every Wednesday on A and E, they they basically you have any any charges from like murder to. Oh, I love that! A, I love that. There's a guy who set the courthouse on fire in, in Texas, and there was a long chase and everything. Oh, a bunch of shit. There was a guy. It was in Kentucky, if my memory serves me correctly. He showed up at court smoking a joint just to tell you people, you guys want to arrest me on a principle. Just kind of funny. You got arrested, but it's kind of funny, eh? He comes into court and smokes a joint. Adam, you're and he's funny. Funny. Uh, Did you, you remember see Hulk guy? Hogan's son get arrested? By the way, no. That's because to mention court cam, I was. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, you see the uh, the police body cam. Yep. And you see Hulk Hogan come to this to the, and it's just uh, you, it's you recent. Re yeah, weeks ago. There was yeah, a guy. And you see a father concerned about his kid because Hulk he Hogan do? doesn't drink drink driving. Oh shit! Under the influence, he's like, "Where was you? Where was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah." And and but he did. He refused to give a breathalyzer, so it was a whole thing. And uh, but you see Hogan show up, and it's like, "Yeah, that's my son." Oh my so, uh, god! Wa watch it when you have time. Hulk Hogan. There was uh, a guy. DUI. There was a guy that stole a Dolphins jersey. I think uh, the Dolphins, the football team, like the American Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. Uh, uh, Ray, yeah, Miami. Uh, his name was Ray Finkel. The guy that stole the Dolphins jersey. No, he's the one that uh, said the laces were in. What are you saying? That's an Ace Ventura reference. Oh. Dan Marino. So so this guy uh, stole a Dolphins jersey, mm -hmm. and he showed up to his court hearing where he's accused of stealing said Dolphin jersey, and he shows up wearing that same jersey. I that's the beauty it. of it. I that's great. It. I that's, love that. Did he do it on purpose, or did he like have no more laundry? No, I think I think he was homeless. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not going to You know what? Maybe he could have gotten away with it, saying, look, that's the only shirt I have now. Yeah. So, ah. You, you want to take the shirt off of my back? Correct. Oh, yeah, shit. Hulk Hogan's son's DUI arrest. Here it is for yeah. See, see, poor guy, man. Like I feel bad for him here. Show the Hollywood shirt. That's a father. Well, no, just in case they didn't recognize him. Where is this in Florida? Of course, oh, it's in Florida. Clear water. Oh, he crashed uh, years ago when his his friend became paralyzed. Oh yeah, the kid was drunk and killed his friend. Now he's no, drunk they were speed again. driving. They were speed driving in two oh seven. Well, did he kill him or injure him? No, oh, his, his, this brutal. guy is a vegetable now, this oh poor guy. Oh he's alive, but he, he has no idea where he is. There he is. That's Jesus him now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so now this is Hogan's son's second. Uh, he should be. That's the mother of the kid, yeah. Wow. She said that. He Any should be ashamed kind of, of himself knowing that he virtually cost my son his life for all intents What was the sentence? Anybody know? He should have been living a life to honor my son, at least never driving recklessly again and potentially harming someone else. Yeah, she's yeah. right, actually. She is she's absolutely actually, yeah, right. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent right. And uh, yeah, so Nick Hogan, Nick Hogan, yeah, he's uh, he's got problems. Yeah, he has nice hair though. All right, uh, all right. Yeah. So, Why is he uh, even holding his own microphone? Okay. That said, that, that this is Nicole Rogers, bro. Oh she's my bad. A, number eight, but yeah, I, I feel bad for Hogan on that. Not for Nick, but I feel bad for his dad. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So uh, yeah, stupid errors. Number four, standing ovation for an old school Nazi war hero for the Nazis in Canadian Parliament. Let me say it again for a Nazi. <laughs> the year 
2023 you're not gonna believe it but it's a nazi in 2023 in canada a fucking nazi i'm as ashamed embarrassed and shocked as you are nazis oh yeah did you rehearse to say it that way <laughs> Yes, he did. Yes, this actually, morning. Since Every this morning. Morning. Did a good and, and, and the dance choreography. Um, we choreographed the entire thing before we showed up here. Adam, what did you think about that when they uh, they brought the uh, the guy, uh, the, the war Nazi. hero, the war hero to the... Uh, Wait, question. Did you town. even know about this? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, he's about to find out soon. Like, uh, he'll... he'll He'll bring it up in a couple of months. Yeah. The, the, How did you not hear about this? You all you were at home all the time. It's true. I don't watch the news very often. Every now and then. There we go. go here. So there, are, so they're all... Um, <laughs> They're just applauding a Nazi. <laughs> I heard about the guy in India who got murdered. Uh, excuse me, the Indian guy in Canada who got murdered, and then uh, oh, that Modi, heard and Modi and Trudeau are not exactly on. Scene. So it happened like a year and a half ago, bro. What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. So this guy, um, <laughs> you see, he he uh, he brought him in, and uh, I was all excited. He's, he's like, "Yo, yeah, check this guy out." This, this guy. man here killed many people, innocent people, and they're <laughs> they're, they're standing ovation. That's, That's do, do you think this presents Canada as organized? Look at Zelensky. He's like, fuck yeah, doggy. You think he invested in that color? Oh, my God. Why are they applauding him? Because he, he like, killed he Russians. See, he's like, finally, he yeah. realized I was on the correct did you side. See, did you see his... Uh, <laughs> you know what? Did you see his body language, that man? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's him. He was an inglorious bastards. Waffen Grenadier. Founded by the primary architecture of the Holocaust. Heinrich Himmler. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, one of the worst. <laughs> the only person in the world that's he, worse than Adolf. Is wasn't he the him. worst one? Yeah. Yeah, he's worse than Adolf. That he was guy. Right hand but did yeah. he do like <laughs> conducting experiments? This guy on Jews and shit. Bro, he was the one that when Hitler said, "No, no, no that's too much for me to do. <laughs> you do it." <laughs> that's that's God that guy. damn, bro. Well, no. I didn't one. even know the Heimlich. Uh, uh, Himmler. Heinrich Himmler, not the Heimlich. Yeah, for you, you know, no. Believe me, no. He caused them to choke, not the other yeah, way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they needed the Heimlich after. Right. God correct. damn, bro. I, I didn't even yeah. know. Like, I knew of the whole Nazi shit, but fuck, man. Yeah, anyways. Come to think about that, should have been number one. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's next? What? Oh, you know. He not really. Oh, yeah, you know. oh, maybe I do, yeah. All right, here, number three, blackface as Aladdin, that's written very poorly. Yeah, ba basically, I Isn't was trying to do... Isn't it one D and two Ns? May I Googled it. Um, uh, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm going on a Trudeau thing where he decided to put, uh, you know, become a minstrel there uh, for Halloween, uh, and they all use it against but the him. And, you could uh, just say black, why'd you say blackface as Aladdin? Yeah, I wanted it to be specific. Uh, it's, I was, it was, hey, right, what do you want next one quickly. Yeah, fuck that. All right. Mm -hmm. The circle happen. of life. No, that's the Lion King. What? Number two. For sure, I will pay back this loan shark. Quote unquote. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we've all known people like this who. I'm looking at two of them. But go on. I never borrowed mm -hmm. from a loan shark. I wouldn't surprise me if you did. Correct. It would not surprise yeah. you, but I, I'm very close to people who have had problems with that. You're so sitting like three feet away from one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Adam, Adam, how much? Did, what was the most you ever paid in juice? Uh, I don't want to get into no, that. No, you just ballpark. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What does it mean by you paid in juice? It means just the interest. Interest that you're not paying a bank, you're paying a pri private person. So let's say you owe him $5,000, but every week you have to give him... 200 in juice until it's you pay not that coming back. off the principal. Yeah. You're just paying him that so he doesn't break your legs. Yeah. I never thought about it. So for, for two you grand, you paid that what? shit in my head. Okay? Yes. So for two grand, it cost you twenty five thousand. Yeah, probably. But how much? Okay, have you... fine. How about this? For two grand, you end up paying three. So is that You're what happened one... to you? Ah, so you got off. How much free? How much Let's have you borrow taken? more. How much have you borrowed from loan sharks? I'm not crazy to borrow fucking ten or twenty thousand. Like you said, Adam, at one point you owned the house, and what happened? I, I didn't want to get into that. My bankruptcy. Yeah. Hey, that's private. That's fucking. Hey, I don't like. I don't like where your head's at, Guido. It's his first fucking day back. You're not gonna, you're not gonna assault the man verbally. You hear me? You're right. I, I've known a lot of people who owed money to loan sharks. It I know. sucks. Um, it really is dumb. It never ended well. No. I yeah. once owed money to loan sharks. For real? Yes. Years ago, I was a young whippersnapper. Oh. Well, yes. you, you, you paid well? it. You paid in everything. And yeah, but then I also worked for the loan sharks. Okay, I understand. And then I had to quit because it was very depressing. Yeah. Why? I, I believe it. Yeah. I'll tell you why. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Uh, when you go collect money, okay. Uh, you have this theory in your head that most people are like in the movies. You're going to see a guy being like, 
I don't want to fucking pay you. And then you're going to have to break his legs, right? Most people are not like that. Most people are like Adam. So you go mm. in and, and they're just retarded. Like, I really don't have this money. And you, f- you feel and, and feel like, bad. I haven't but eaten in But that changes nothing days. at your end, yeah. right? You it still cha- have to get it. Yeah, but for me, it changed a lot emotionally. So I can't do that. I'm like, I, I can't beat up Adam. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you know it. what? A lot I of people, work. a lot of people uh, overlook that fact. Yeah, it's not like the movies, bro. They're all it, they're all degenerate, low life idiots like Adam. They're not uh, yeah, like yeah. they're not like high end criminals. Here's a crazy uh, notion. A I'm not a specialist on these things, but if you're a private person, you want to lend somebody money. Don't you want to know are they working? What's their financial situation? Yeah, like? was that they have no money. <laughs> no, I just crossed my mind. Who, who in the right you, mind did would you find hear? themselves in a situation you, where they owe a loan shark? Well, you you owe a loan shark yourself. But not not the not according to the description that? you gave me. Could you imagine? You're making uh, your business uh, to pay them back. This fucking asshole. Could you? I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, when Pantalis quits because he feels bad, the next guy that comes in doesn't feel bad, and he breaks Adam's legs and glasses. Yeah. Imagine a, imagine a capo in a family that tells his guys, "Make sure you guys a good credit score." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never worked for loan sharks, but I worked for collections agency. Me neither. I'm just making these stories oh. up. Uh-huh. There's a slight difference. One's legal, no, the other's not. No, you've been very close to people. Like you've you've yeah. been in the same room yes, as these yes, types. Exactly. A lot. I, I worked you know for a collections are. agency for two months, and uh, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Most of the people were, you would get the one asshole who'd be like, "Mari and Danny. like I'm not gonna give you yeah, shit. Fuck off, you know, back, fuck yeah. you. Come get it. Blah blah yeah. blah. You had the one asshole like that. And then whatever, and then but th- this guy was like he had a whole thing with lawyers and shit, so you couldn't really touch him. Anyways, uh, but most of the time was people who were so down on their and luck. And they throw right? pity your way. And then, but it, it's not even they throw pity; it's they have no choice. Yeah. yeah. So unless you're not a human being, you're so gonna feel terrible. It's yeah. like yeah. Cause yeah. they were in situation like, and where I was like, I literally like after this phone call, I literally stood up. Walked into the manager's office and told him, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't give you two weeks, nothing. I'm leaving. I'm yeah. I'm out. Wow. It was a woman mm. that picked up and I think she owed for like something stupid. Credit card, but like a small amount. It was like five hundred dollars. Yeah, and she something. could not and she had to go bankrupt. She for pay, it. Yeah, she couldn't pay five hundred, bro. Yeah. And then uh I think I called her. And, uh, you know, you do the whole spiel. Well, how much you have? No, no, you know, you got to be a bit rough on the phone. And this lady, I think she had like 20 bucks left. I go, well, you got to make a payment. Oh, and my God. Goes, I hate you. Then she goes and she goes, she, bro, she started bawling. She started crying on the, uh, on the other line. Her. Yeah. Like and you scared she goes, me. This is all I have. Uh, but, you know, you know, when someone's really crying, when you hear that. Yeah, it's not fake crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's hyperventilating. Exactly. And you hear that. I need to oh, man. Buy and that you were, you were you were out. She uh, was like, to feed my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, to feed and, her kids. And, uh, yeah, and you were. And, like, and, bro, I don't yeah. understand. Bro, I, I, did, I, did, I told her, I go, you know what? You're right. Go buy your kids milk or whatever, you know? It's, yeah. it's fine. And we'll call you another time. I'm a fat piece of shit. And that's bro, when you I said, hung I'm up. Out. I hung up. I did this. Yeah. <laughs> you were like you were like the guy at the end of a Christmas movie. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't, bro. Yeah. It's, it's so... Because it, these are people down. Yeah. Man, when I tell you down and out, if you think you've been down, bro, like you haven't seen down. Plus, I, I've been I, really, really down. So I feel very, very bad. I feel... I've been yeah. pretty close to it. I've Empathy been around a lot of that. down and I've been down and I've gone well, down, Go fuck bro. yourself. Your down is not a real down. <laughs> Well, no, it's no, a real down. Adam, I mean, Adam looks a, like he has a comb over. I've been in a hand, room. Hand, it's hand. great. It's funny. No, no, I've been. But in I'm a, talking I, about a down where no, no, you I literally it, have yeah. no resource. Right, 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 right. I get it. Zero recourse yeah. for it's things. Ter- it's terrible. It's 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 no one you, will you're hire in, you. You're in a parking lot with a burger in your hand and no money. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I got it. I get it. Trust uh, me. I don't want to offend anybody. But I at least but had recourse. You have I had to, options. Exactly. You just have to find another job. Okay, you lose your job. <laughs> you Did you hear what he's saying? Did you Bro, hear what he's saying? I hate Adam. This guy's a piece of shit. So, Adam, let me tell you something. Yeah. People, fans have felt empathy and sympathy for you due to your condition. And he's telling you a real story about a single mom who had nothing left. And you're like, well, just just get a job. Yeah. You're that, living, you didn't feel bad for You're her. living proof that you can't just, just, just get a job because you can't <laughs> just, just get a job for 40 fucking years. But this woman, you're like, just, just get a job. You know how crazy that is, brother? You don't feel any empathy for this woman. And she probably had yeah, like a, absolutely. a little baby. Empathy. Adam yeah, has, to, has to learn. Like, if you give him instructions on how to pretend to be empathetic, he'll come back and pretend to be empathetic, but he can't do it. Fucking yeah, that's because he's either severely autistic or, or a psychopath. Or a psychopath. 
That's or both, incredible. That's not the case. Well, you can't be an autistic psychopath. That would never. That <laughs> well, would never yeah. work out. It might. Actually, you know what? That's a new show idea. That's a. Nice, that's a good idea for a autistic movie. Autistic psychopath. Autistic psychopath. But in Britain, they're all gonna think it's Picasso. You see, because what? they're autistic and we're artistic. You see, it's a joke on the letter R. Forget everything. He's playing with the words. I like jokes with the hard R. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, num numero one. Okay, yeah, these are uh, errors, really stupid yeah. errors, Adam. Sorry. You know what? I'll tell you something I did, which is not the craziest. Hold on, let him just go to this one, and then we'll go yeah. back to you, Adam. Go. Number one, becoming a comedian. What a stupid fucking error. And I can talk to you from first-hand experience. One of the dumbest decisions of my life. A poor economic decision. <coughs> Plus, half the world hates you. Everybody <laughs> talks shit about you. But that's kind of what I like about it secretly. <laughs> you know, when, 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 when people uh, have asked me, um, but don't you, like, what if, what if they don't laugh? I don't think people understand, like people that don't do it, they don't understand the beating that you get uh, when they say, what if they don't laugh? Yeah, they don't laugh all the time. And then you get your jokes together and then they laugh. But the, you have to be a masochist, I think, or just have thick skin to, to you know. But then when it works, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, it's just dumb. It is it's, dumb. It's like, uh, yeah. When's the last time you did a set? Third floor, I think. Not too long after the show in with you. Okay, so was this before Christmas or after? I don't remember. All right. I think it was after. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, becoming a comedian is very. Um, it's um. Adam, we got to get you to do a set. No, we don't. You know, actually, I was thinking about that earlier today. There's a bit of a risk. There are comedians like um, that guy. Uh, if you went to the third floor, you'd do really well. It's coming to me. Um, the guy who lives in Dallas. What's his name? Very well-known community. He's a millionaire. J.R. Ewing? Joe Rogan? <laughs> Thank you, Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah. You could end up at his level and be a multimillionaire, or you could be somebody who gets work every now and then. So I just I just a thought. Good. I'm glad you think. What do you what do you like about Joe Rogan? <laughs> Well, the, he, You're putting on spot. well he's know. bald as well. Yeah. He's also bald. I don't know much about the guy. Just no. You hear a name thrown, you know, around. here, thrown around. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You hear a name thrown around here. I he didn't know this until recently, but he's not related to Seth Rogen, the actor. <laughs> Probably because that's because it's Seth Rogen, and that's an Joe e. Rogan. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Rogan uses. And one's Rogan. Canadian, the other's American, so that's another. Well, never. Mind. And one's bald, and one's not. Yeah. <laughs> Yet the one who's not bald, his name is Rogaine. Isn't that weird? And one's cheap, the other one isn't. Mm. Joe Rogan could probably co-sign uh, you know you for a car loan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring him. That was on one of the first things. That was the, one of the first things he ever told me. Uh, uh, one of the I, first times I met Adam is he asked me to ask Joe Rogan <laughs> for money. <laughs> Oh, for real? You really did yes. that? Yes. You didn't know this. I didn't ask I, you to right. ask you. You're right. I asked you to actually. find out what he would say. <laughs> That's so funny. The fact that he even crossed your mind. Anyway, what is the... Uh, you, know, half... you, know, you know, this is what he said. You know, uh, you know Joe Rogan. Uh, I, saw, I saw that Spotify deal. Uh, so, like, what would be the harm if you ask him? Because you know me. You know I'm good for it. You know I'm good for it. And you tell him to give me, like, 10, 20, 50, maybe 75,000. Uh, and and you're good. I'm good for it. You know me. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And, and yet Poseidon, his co-host sitting right across from him, is giving him an opportunity to have a car. And free Adam money. is debating it. Yeah. <laughs> He'd rather get free money from Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yeah. Adam likes the argument, not the solution. Joe Rogan hates communism, by the way. So you got to work for your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah you're gonna stop to... wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> like you're probably gonna have to suck his dick. No, no, no. No, but he has no, no okay, problem no, doing no, that. No, he does problem. that at home. Sure. Yeah, Joe jo jo Rogan's not gonna do that. He and also guys, he needs freedom out of the house. Adam, you can't just suck dicks everywhere. You're destroying my like public, uh, what the perception no, of you people. No, you did that already. What? <laughs> You've done way Adam, worse. Adam, trust to me, your public image has never been stronger. Right now, yeah. a lot you're of people like, love you. You're, you're like Ice Cube. You're out of jail. Yeah, you're free. You're you're rocking red because you ain't dead. You're ready, baby. And you're the cold and you inside. Got, where's the rhyme on top of that? You're when like you an were, ice cube. When, you're, when you were at a house arrest, did you have any hood rats that wanted to bang you for a rep? Oh, yeah. Never give that any thought. 
Okay. Uh, so uh, half quickly. So yeah, half, uh, 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 stupid errors, right? <clears throat> Number half. Whatever Adam did. Ha 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 ha. Um. Yeah. So Adam, you're the half. Congratulations. Yes. La première étoile, the first star. First time I've ever been awarded the half, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe not, actually. Huh? Uh, you made it, kid. Adam, uh, uh, so what are we going to do about your neck hair? Are we Are we going uh, Are we going to the barber again? Can you want me to pay to, to get him a full makeover? Uh, no. Yeah, I think I think I think Adam needs a second makeover. He just got out of jail, right? If somebody has a wig, long like silky hair, like like eighties metal hair. Oh, that oh would be nice. my god, Adam with metal hair and with then, the, the Axel Rowe bandana. Or something. Yes, but also if we would let him grow out a beard again, yeah. he can't. He doesn't want. He'd to. be out there hanging and banging. Adam, you really would look good in a beard. Anyway, he doesn't want to. But he, not a super big beard. I like what he had. He did. He was doing good for a yeah. while. Then he got distracted. Do you remember that cool when Adam? Remember when you were cool, Adam? I like yeah, cool. Yeah, so that's Adam. a haircut I gave him. Yeah. Well, not personally, but no, you know, I, I brought him to the bar. We're fifty percent on the same side. Shaving, shaving the hair, no problem. Your hair but is you at fifty percent. But you didn't enjoy cool, Adam. Bro, even the fly ass honey on the street he, said she'd bang yes. it. Yes, and she's got. He's got the. He, he's yeah, rocking he the uh, Elvis up. Presley fat sideburns though. Yeah, that, he that looks good. The, Adam, you could. Um, what are you pensive about? When, when, when people look down and to the right, they're thinking about something. He what doesn't are you like. About? Being, I forgot what pensive he, means. He, he, it means you're thinking. <laughs> He oh. doesn't. He doesn't want to be cool, Adam, because it's too much responsibility. He can't keep pushing these honeys off him. I pulled the chick over to the side. I go. To, I showed her a picture of Adam before the haircut. I go, Yo, would you bang this dude? And she went, Ew, no, disgusting. <laughs> and then I, I grabbed him. I go, Now, would you bang this dude? And she goes, Oh, hey, pretty boy. Yeah, oh we my god. Give you the, the Walter oh White hat. We had the, yeah. the, the long trench. I remember. Drooling. He looked amazing. I remember yeah. that when he went to. Uh, when you guys went to buy him clothes and all that, you, he looks. I, I, I was. I thought it was a new era. I like cool Adam. I was yeah. like, yo, cool Adam's gonna get laid. Adam, you also, um, um, you mentioned uh, traveling. Like, have you gone anywhere? No, I'm huh? not allowed. Oh wow, the you can't. Le- you can't leave the province. Correct. Wow, I didn't know that. I can go to it's called James house arrest. Yeah, no, I assu- no, I assumed. I assumed uh, he could travel the country and not the border. I can go it's to called Bangkok, house arrest. Satil, Shikutimi, to fucking where the James Bay is, but I can't leave Quebec. It's so you can't go to, to in joke. other words, you can't go to the capital tomorrow and come back in the, within two hours. Nope. Oh, How are they okay. going to know, though? If they find out. Yeah. Wait, you're not allowed to cross the border of, of, uh, of Ontario, province. Quebec? Exactly. Yeah. I can't cross any border. Quebec, New York. Quebec, Vermont. Quebec, Ontario. No, no, no those, those make sense. That makes sense. But Quebec and, and Ontario. No, he, should really? pull, he should pull a Pablo, a Pablo Escobar, take a picture in front of the parliament. <laughs> while he's on, that'll uh, be so ballsy. Yeah, that would be so. Gang- I'd, I'd have respect for you for real. And then send it while you're at home, though. Yeah. Send it to your parole officer, and then like, what the fuck is this? And you go, that's AI, cabron. <laughs> and say cabron just to yeah. make it more authentically yeah. not Canadian. What does that mean? Or tell him my mother's in Ottawa. I needed medicine. <laughs> and my doctor's in Ottawa. Yeah, tell bitch. exactly. See, that's you see. You can go anywhere you want. Just say your mother's in New Zealand, and you needed yeah. this stuff from because she's a medical doctor. Care. Yeah, you did that. They'll figure you're smarter than them. You you wear glasses. You're a smart young man. Um, well, none of those are true. You were gonna say something, and they said, "Let's finish the list." What were we gonna? Oh, I forgot. It doesn't matter. But we gotta we gotta close the show because he has to go home. Yeah, I I have to make sure. He does not get arrested. Yes. If Adam doesn't get home within twenty eight minutes, he's gonna turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> No, no, no. He's just going to get beat up by uh, like, the cops. Cinderella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we, we, we got to have... have to do before midnight. I don't remember so long ago. She has to fucking blow. I was going to. No, what did she, no, have, she to... had to get back yeah. home because uh, at midnight, all of the magic wears off. So her dress uh, became rags again. Yeah. And what for some mean? reason, here's what doesn't make sense about that. All the magical stuff, including her slippers, turned back to normal. Except right? for that one slipper, yeah. But one of the slippers doesn't turn back to normal because yeah. the guy. So it's not well thought out. Yeah, the, that never made sense to me. But I thought maybe the magic only applies when it's on her. Uh, anyways, there's a whole thing. No, because then she would just take it off and it would be on the side. She could yeah, wear it after. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't after make midnight, any sense. Yeah, or maybe after midnight, as soon as she puts it back on, it disappears again. It doesn't make no, because then he puts the shoe on her foot. Also, but if it's a magical slipper, why wouldn't it fit on any broad? Well, yeah, that's not magical. Mid- no, that I mean, don't you remember her uh, fat, ugly sisters tried him? Didn't fit. Uh, didn't work. After midnight, we gon' let it all hang you know, down. Hold on, hold on. We, we didn't get to the bottom of one thing. Adam, who's your favorite Disney princess? Oh. I don't have one. <gasps> Ariel. Is it because it's too hard to pick one? I just don't give that much thought. <laughs> Jasmine from Aladdin? I was thinking the same thing. I guarantee you he, his favorite is Jasmine. Do you think it's Jasmine? 
fuck, I gotta find a way to use like reverse psychology, okay? I think he likes. It's like me asking you, what's so your you... favorite city in India? You've never been to India. What I would say would I, I would say Hyderabad. Fine, take a country you know nothing about, Sudan. You know, Ooh, oh, yeah. the darkest people you on the planet. You my point, right? You ask me questions that Sudeska. I don't give thought to. Okay. Well, okay, you know, but you, but you, you hold on, but you know serious. Aladdin. You know this is stuff. You actually, you know Cinderella. You know all this shit. So when your I was example, nine years old. yeah, but your example you know what, doesn't but make I, sense. Does, I know what, these are these are I pop didn't even culture know what references. Have to do by midnight, I had to ask. So does that not tell you that I don't know too much about uh, Disney? I know your favorite Snow White. <laughs> no, he likes and dwarfs, uh, Timon right? and Pumbaa. <laughs> yeah, you know about the dwarves, so you do know. He likes Sebastian That's the all Crab. I know about her. <laughs> okay, so how about this? What's your favorite Disney movie? That would, that's a more appropriate question. Okay, I want to stay appropriate. What's the one that Elton John has a, a, the theme song for? The Lion King? Yeah. It's not a theme song, but it's a big... Okay, well, he plays in it. He plays in All right. music. So you like yeah. The Lion King? The one that is the circle Come of life. Thank you. Thank you. Life. Come on. <laughs> there you go. And it moves us all. A gay British man is singing <laughs> about African lion jungle sex. <laughs> you and Elton John actually have the same exact hairline. Yeah. Cool. Um, <laughs> you can never know what it's like. Anyway, Adam, I'll tell you. So you don't have a favorite princess? No. You loved Mick Jagger. Remember he loved... Why do I feel like we that's a him, lie? Remember we yeah, asked him... Yeah, we can talk well, about Well, technically, wouldn't it be Nala? Wouldn't it be the Lion King one if it's that straight movie? Same logic as the other movies. That, that movie was released in 97, I think. I don't remember it. Okay? But you this, remember exactly, precisely the likes, month it, it was released. Yeah, no, he, likes, he likes that lion pussy. <laughs> he's, he's more old school. He likes that kitty cat. <laughs> in terms of music, he did, likes, you, did you like David Bowie? Cruella de Vil. Yeah, oh, yeah. Did you ever, when you were alone, Poor sing? I died like seven, eight years ago. Yeah. Did you ever sing when you were alone? Sing to his music? Not often. You never called home and went, ground control to, to Major Tom. Tom. <laughs> yeah. You did that? <laughs> to myself and not to anybody else. You've really made the grade. And the papers want to know who shuts you well. Okay, no? okay. Favorite porn star? Run. Don't pay attention. Ron Jeremy. Yeah, don't I don't know attention. that there. There's a star. Is it the one that recently died? Oh, who died? What's her name? A lady. I don't know. Cagley, Lynn, whatever the fuck. Lindsay Wagner. Maybe. Maybe. I watched The Shining for the first time. Uh, oh, my. Very good you movie. can watch that movie a hundred times and still pick up things you haven't seen. Did I gotta ever, say this. Did uh, you ever read the book? The Stanley yes. Kubrick kid. Uh, this morning he Pretty read talented. It. I think he's going to go places. Yeah, Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, I think he's going to go places. You know, he was from the Bronx. Yeah. yeah. Be Rinksy. You keep saying that like it's supposed to mean because something. Because I, I don't know. I associate the Bronx with I do mozzarella. And this guy made a masterpiece. That's why. Masterpiece I is. Careful. Correct. correct. Okay. You are correct. Yeah. You are correct. He was also killed by the Illuminati. Uh, oh. Yeah, because of the Eyes Wide Shut thing. There's a whole theory about it. Bam. Favorite. Favorite film. Adam. There's so many. <laughs> all the, all, okay, okay. Top five. Top five. Top five. Okay. James Bond. Uh, all of them? Casino Royale, there's so many. I like okay, them all. So you like yeah. a, what, okay, so what's your favorite? The favorite actor that plays uh, James Bond? No, what's your what's your favorite horror movie? Not a big fan. Why not? Oh, there was a there was a movie called House on Haunted Hill, I think. Oh yeah, that's an old school movie. That's old school. I like that you went old school. Do you like uh, like shark movies? No, I was watching Jaws. Not I don't like that kind of stuff. No, really, I used to. But you saw Jaws. Sorry that. One that takes place in Cape Cod and where the guy you literally like Jaws. Uh, Can you speak into the microphone, please? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. sorry. There's a there's a scene where the guy's like the, the he's in the water and then he's trying to. All right, what's your Jaws? favorite yes. Stanley Kubrick film, old man? I don't know how many films he has made. There's a lot. There's a many. Uh, like two thirteen. Two thousand one: A Space Odyssey, the, Eyes Wide Shut, The, the Shining, the, Shining uh, the, the Moon the Landing, landing the original Full Metal landing. Jacket, The Moon Landing. Yeah. Yeah. Does Bruce Willis play in Full Metal Jacket? He plays yeah. in the Moon Landing. He plays the jacket. I have to look at. I'd have to look at the list. <laughs> yeah, the top. Okay. Okay. Favorite black man in history. 
Uh, well, that's an easy one. Samuel uh, L. Jackson. Ja uh, the guy Jr., he, he made that big thing for black people in the 60s. I forgot Did his name. Did you say the guy Jr.? The guy Jr.? I forgot Uncle his Jr. name. Martin Luther King Martin Jr. Luther. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. The guy Jr. <laughs> that's a good fucking that's, choice. That's as good as Cesarian. <laughs> that's a good choice. You are going to get canceled over it because you didn't, you didn't pick George Floyd, but it was a good second yeah. choice. Oh, yeah, it's true. He suffered. Well, yeah. You know, some people <laughs> might say that the, uh, the best black man was Jesus Christ. Yeah, those people would be dumb. <laughs> Jesus play Jesus was like. Cleopatra. <laughs> Apparently she was um Oh yeah, I get it. That's <laughs> wow. She was a right. whore. Hey, she was a whore. I got best one. Fucking, best the Greek former man president of the United States is black, was the one black president that they had Obama. Yeah, no, like Bill him. Clinton was not a black guy and <laughs> he uh, said Obama. <laughs> no, Obama was not the best black man. I think you were actually right. It's it's probably Martin Luther King Jr. because he probably had the best effect on everyone. Like he actually did good stuff. He's the best Greek choice. man in history. Best Greek man. One of the philosophers. I don't know. Aristotle. <laughs> one of the philosophers. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not as good as Alexander the John Great. Stamos. Yes, that's a good one. I'm picking Alexander that's the Great. That's a very I'm good one. Yeah. Best Italian. Do you guys know that Jennifer that Aniston is Demostani. half Greek? Yes, for, the, for democracy. And her father passed away. Jennifer Aniston's father. Well, yeah, yeah, Aniston's the guy from Greek. your favorite Yeah, uh, he's definitely not one of the best Greeks of all time. Best Italian? Best Italian? Benito Mussolini. I like it. I was going to go with uh, Caesar. Mm. The Caesarian. Yeah. yeah. We're close. Yeah. Napoleon was Corsican. He was not Italian. Best right. German. Best German? Oh, come on, bro. The fucking painter. Someone from the Middle Ages, I'm sure. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Which one? They had some philosophers. The Austrian painter. <laughs> That's not German. Best German. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hans Landa. Hans there was, Zimmerman. There was a guy by the name of Kant. I forgot his first name. Best German, Hans Kant. Zimmerman. Oh. Immanuel Kant, I just remembered he was a philosopher. Do you know guys know who he is? I, I've never Look thought of a best German. Yeah. What did best he Hans Zimmerman. I'm not best sure Brit. Did, best but. Brit. Oof, the best Brit ever. Her Majesty. That king that had uh, uh, that, that condition, he had to hide his face. What was his name? King uh, Charles. He did the Crusades. No, 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 no. I know who you're talking about. Uh, le he would, leprosy. He, had, no, he was leprosy. a leper? Yeah, he had leprosy, I think. Leprosy, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He apparently accomplished a lot by a very young age as well. Best Brit, I'm going to give it to David Beckham. Oh, that's a good choice. That's you a good know, choice. Nobody could bend it like Beckham. Yeah. Hey. Um, Best Canadian. Terry Fox. Terry Fox, I was going to pick ah, too. That's a good choice. Best Canadian, absolutely. Yeah. Best American. Terry Fox or Jack Layton. I don't know, know much John about Ed Jack McDonald, Layton. the first prime minister we ever had. He was good mm. too, but I mean, because he was the first prime minister, not a bad choice. But uh, well, that, yeah. there's Kiefer Sutherland's uh, grandfather. He's the one that gave the health care. What's his name? Tommy Douglas. He's mm. another great Canadian. Now we have a lot of. Or Wayne James Gretzky, Nathan. Mark. Uh, Mark Wayne Nessler. Gretzky is good, but I would pick over Gretzky, Terry Fox. Terry or Jack Fox, hundred percent, man, hundred percent. Speaking of Terry hey, Fox, hey, wait a second, we just forgot the most important. What? Best American ever. Exactly. I was gonna. My, my, it was my next question. What are you thinking? Uh, George Washington. Uh, you, uh, Baldy. <sighs> There's so many presidents. Oh my God! You have to just not a president, any H. American. H.S. Truman. It doesn't matter. He's a president. Howard Truman. Howard Truman is your number one American, and you, Guiz. Whoever is going to be the next president, that's the best American. Just Donald Trump. <laughs> I don't know. Is it going to be? I don't know, I don't know why, but that answer angered me. Me too. I know. Just that's so why that. I said it exactly. I, I was happy <laughs> saying it because I knew it was going to bother you. I can't speak but, like an adult. <laughs> uh, uh, right, no, in history so far, you best be? American. Man, I can't. I got. Uh, Hulk well, Hogan. I want to add a the, second uh, answer. Lincoln. I'd like to add a second answer. Oh, well, that's shit. a good choice. Lincoln. That's a good fucking guys, choice. Lincoln. You guys know who Dale Carnegie is, eh? Yeah, he writes those books that you buy and never listen to. <laughs> you never follow anything American that those books the tell USA you to do. USA had in Ever. 1930s. Yeah. You can't listen the to a book. You can only American. read it. That's where your problem lies. No, that's why the joke did it land. To... <laughs> they're self-help books. He knows about uh, this guy, okay. but he never follows it. That was the guy. You, who's your favorite American? Eisenhower. Is that the guy with the atomic bomb? No, that's Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Einstein. Uh, that's going to win Best Picture. I, I, I think, yeah. Who's, uh, Einstein who was not again? American. He became an American. You're right. You're German. right. Who, who did you say again, sorry? Eisenhower. 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 What Pre did he do this guy again? Uh, uh, I heard his name. Was he was a president. president. His first sure name was Dwight, name. wasn't it? Yeah. Huh? Dwight, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Yeah. And what did he do? He was at pres El Presidente. He did more than that, but yeah, he was the president. Wow. Do you want to, does my human dictionary want to give them a, um, I don't, I, a crash I can't, course? Adam Eisenhower? What, what, I, I don't know the, he uh, was the president, I, don't I don't know what know he was uh, famous for. He, I mean, I know he was Rushmore. famous, but I, I can't tell you. Well, his, is he uh, on Mount Rushmore? Was he the, uh, the because I, I confuse them when I'm not there. 
Mount Rushmore? When you're not where? And, and uh, when I spend a lot of time in the States, I'm, I absorb it. But when I don't, uh, I, uh, so, for, um, I forget them. Uh, Eisenhower is the one that on his exit of the uh, of the oral office, of the oral office, oh. he's the one who gave that speech warning everyone about the uh, secret cabal controlling ah. things in the military industrial complex. Oh, wow. And, 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 and like the balls okay. on this guy. So, um, so he was like, like the Cat Williams of the presidents. Yeah, well, anyways, he was... JFK there. was another good choice. JFK was a yeah. good choice. The only reason why I'm saying yeah. is, is JFK is because JFK got murdered. This guy managed to survive that yeah. time. Do you guys know the you only the president in history that quit? And that farewell. On? This speech did not get very much attention. When a new president is coming to power... So this is good. Uh, I don't know why this guy's fucking talking, is bro. Is that guy a Greek guy? <laughs> Jesus. Beschloss. Fuck. Beschloss. Fucking dickhead, bro. Just give me the speech. Let me, let me see if this one's... Just hey, good. look at Ronald Reagan. The National Archives, but why are you adding like like this is what pisses me off is it's part of the National Archives, but you're you're making this motherfucker speak. Maybe the one on the top right where where it says uh, Eisenhower speech signed to National uh, from uh, the how long is it? office in the White Two House minutes. in Washington. No, it's the same ones. So so back up and fast forward on the other one. No, no, it's not fast forward. It's a longer speech. Oh, I see. Yeah, maybe I think this is I think this one's a good one. What do you mean? This one. States. If you if you go go hover over the. On the city next week. However, I found that I could not possibly deal with the subject in just one address. So tonight, I shall concentrate on the most immediate aspects of this question of the relationship of science to the defenses uh, of our country. No, it's no, not, that's not it. That's First, not let it. let me tell you what I'm going to do in this talk. Um, I'll find it, next. just so you guys can hear it. I'm going to lay the facts oh, they done, they done? The rough oh, you could talk. Smooth. No, no, I, I think because uh, he has to leave. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. so this is a surprise Others for Adam. Not. Adam, they we've called your demands. parole officer. Yes. And we've told them that not only are you doing drugs, but you're planning to overthrow. Mm -hmm. The city of Montreal government? Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. You know why I know you're full of shit? Because my officer is a woman, <laughs> not a guy, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice it's 2024, oh, bro. Hold on, he never said any gender, though. I didn't. He I never told said him. Well, watch the tape. He said. Did, he, did you say him. tape? Watch the tape. Here or did Gaza, you say we told? Where him. every day is a battle. I heard what he said. Our team is on the ground. Hold on, bro. In Gaza, working hard to make things. A vital element in keeping the peace is our military establishment. Our arms must be mighty, ready for instant action, so that no potential aggressor may be tempted to risk his own destruction. Our military organization today bears little relation to that known of any of my predecessors in peacetime, or indeed by the fighting men of World War II or Korea. Until the latest of our world conflicts, the United States had no armaments industry. American makers of plowshares could, with time and as required, make swords as well. But we can no longer risk emergency improvisation of national defense. We have been compelled to create a permanent armaments industry of vast proportions. Added to this, three and a half million men and women are directly engaged in the defense establishment. We annually spend on military security alone more than the net income of all United States corporations. Now, this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is new in the American experience. The total influence, economic, political, even spiritual, is felt in every city, every state house, every office of the federal government. We recognize the imperative need for this development, yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. Yep. Our toil, resources, and livelihood are all involved. So is the very structure of our society. In the councils of government, we must gar guard against Was the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists That's what's happening. and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic process. And he warned against it, but that's what's happening now. Uh, they they won. Uh, is um is uh, this 
speech uh, like kind of uh, being re uh, people talking about it again now today? No, they've never stopped talking about <coughs> it. Because it's that amazing. You can't do it's, it's amazing how Kennedy talked about the uh, secret societies and he talked about uh, the CIA and the FBI and getting rid of them and then they killed him. But that's why I asked if Kennedy was after him. Of course, Kennedy was after. Yeah, him. that was he was, was the guy. Just How the fuck did you get a green card? No, 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 no. But that's that's the no, not a citizen. This green card. So he's the guy Kennedy just before. The did, Ken, did he lose to Kennedy or did he? No, no. This is this is fucking after World War Two, bro. This is fifty seven. And Kennedy, after Kennedy the Korea was like nineteen sixty. Three years huh? later, after Five the Korean later. War. Too, when was the Korean War? I think Kennedy came after Nixon. Mm, so think. it was him, Nixon, and then Kennedy. I think because this think was so. or was Nixon after Kennedy. This was after the Korean War as well. When was the Korean War? Fifties. It was right yeah. after World War Two. Yeah, yeah. Fifties yeah. was Korea. Yeah, fifties was Korea. Uh -huh. So this guy was late fifties, I think. Late fifties. This guy was president when they were in the boom of I rebuilding think, I think the United him, States. I think it was him, Nixon, and Kennedy. I think. When people think nostalgia, uh, USA, it's all fifties. Pleasantville. Mm. That's the rebuild, the build, the build, the big build. The big build. The big build, the big balls. Hold on, let's see so we know. The fucking guy. No, no, it was him. It was Kennedy after him. That's what I said. Oh, okay. And then it was uh, we. This then is it, who I keep forgetting. Lyndon B. Johnson. That's the guy who killed Kennedy. Yeah, who I, yeah, <laughs> I keep fucking forgetting yeah. about that. Did you ever see his? Um, uh, but him? is he ever not Johnson? And, and then it was Nixon. You see him so getting yeah, sworn in on the plane. Yeah, dude, that's why he keep looks forgetting. so happy, and and she's devastated, and dude, he's so happy. So and her husband just got shot. The and this reason why getting... I keep forgetting about this guy is because the only reason he became president is because they killed Kennedy. Yeah, he was a uh, vice president. That so he's, became... Yeah, he's not someone that won an election. No, oh, he was Johnson. vice president. Are he was guys, vice president. Became him aware? getting sworn in on the plane after. Oh, like the they're gonna try and pull with uh, Kamala <laughs> Harris. And guys, Biden. So, so, so the way it looks is that Eisenhower gave a speech mm -hmm. he warned the next president the mm -hmm. next president was kennedy he took that warning he looked into it that's mm -hmm. why he warned the americans yeah. again and they're like okay these fuck these freaks so, so they killed yeah, him yeah, yeah, and yeah. then johnson was like i'll play ball if this guy would have my yeah. if this guy wouldn't have told kennedy that maybe kennedy would have still been alive yeah i mean I would did you guys know that there was one president in the history of the usa that resigned on his own there was one u.s president you guys know what it is what, what's his name i forgot but he was replaced <laughs> by gerald ford i think it was nixon because of some scandal. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. oh my He's God, right. that's so funny. He's right. He left it Did you yeah. know that a guy resigned? Because yeah. of the whole Watergate, uh, yeah, Watergate scandal. scandal. What was Deep Watergate throat. again? <clears throat> so uh, the Watergate, Watergate was a hotel. The Watergate hotel. Basically, there was a lot of a recording. Now, Nixon fucked himself over because Nixon had a hard-on for recording every fucking conversation in the yeah. Oval Office. Tape like recorders. It, like, he really, so, he's giving me the signal. Uh, uh, anyways, we're going to talk about politics next time. Intellectuals out. Peace.